Oh, Merry Christmas. We're here at the Emerald Dragon with our hopefully annual Christmas adventure. What do you guys think tonight? Woo! It's fucking snowing at my place, so I'm in the right fucking mood, bud. <laughs> I like the year, man. Hopefully you got your toboggan handy. <laughs> well, and a we fucking are... balaclava, too. Perfect. Well, you're going to need that. You're going to need that. A little foreshadowing. Tonight, my friends, we have a very, very special one-shot in store for us. We are going to 1225 Candy Cane Lane. Our players this evening, they're going to be worker elves. I'll explain more about that in just a second. First, just to get into into the holiday mood. Everybody just throw out uh, throw out one word uh, that reminds you of Christmas. How, we'll start with you, Alex. Snow. Snow. How about you, Kaylee? First word that came to mind was pickle. <laughs> Pickle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Christmas pickle. Yeah. Like the Christmas pickle you put on the Christmas tree. Yeah, Does no one else have a Christmas pickle? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you put it on. <laughs> Let's uh, move right along. Paul, how about you? Lights. Lots of lights. Lots of lights, of course. Luke, what you Hello got? Well. Socks. Yeah. Yeah. Of all kinds. Get them forever. Get them in. Get them in every Christmas present ever. Absolutely. Grandma never fails. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's throw it up for grandmas tonight. Yeah, grandmas. Dean, grandmas. how about you, buddy? I was thinking the color red. The color red. Yes, always comes in so clutch around this time. Well, my friends. Tonight, uh, we are going to start our Christmas one shot by everybody roll a d20 for me. This is going to be initiative. All right. Alex, how about you take us to the uh, main screen here? We will determine who Come we are. Come on, playing. nine. Dang. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> and which job they fulfill. So. A solid 10. Wow, you guys uh, he suck. wins with a 10. <laughs> <laughs> really suck. Cool. But we hopefully, got him uh, out of the way. Yeah. Hopefully things go a little bit better tonight for you. Um, okay. Well, we will start with Luke. Luke, how about you tell us what your <laughs> elf name is to begin with? Oh, um, I'm Clavante. <laughs> Clavante the Christmas elf. Wow, that is definitely <laughs> a unique name. Very cool. No last name either. It's just Clavante. Okay, good to know. A, a, a one word, a one named elf. Perfect. You are a rarity amongst your kind. Well, tonight, guys, I got to tell you, um, we, uh, actually, you guys, so you, you're worker elves, right? And you're in the North Pole, and you're from a variety of backgrounds. You have been selected, you've been hand-selected, in fact, by Mrs. Claus to lead your respective departments in the Elite Packaging Division. It's one of the highest honors an elf can receive. All right? Luke, uh, a.k.a. Clavante, why don't you go ahead and roll a d6 for me, please? Come on, get the best one. Three. All right. Clavante, your role, of course, in this elite packaging division is the executive name tagger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh no! So, so I put I put the name tags on there. Yeah, there's a little short description on your character sheet. Should be in your journal. Got now. it. Got it. And uh, why don't you just give us a little rundown, uh, some physical uh, descript uh, characteristics, or anything you want to tell us about Clavante, the executive name tagger. Um, well, Clavante is um, uh, he's your average uh, short Christmas elf. Um, a bit pudgy because he uh, is very good and often competes and makes a 
later into the rounds of uh, Christmas decorating cookies. He's uh, he's an extremely good uh, cookie decorator. Um, but when he's working in the kitchen, he does have minor Christmas Tourette's. <laughs> okay, good to know. Oh, God. He, oh, he God. probably keeps it at bay, uh, you know, during the day when he's tagging packages and all it's that. It's mostly when he's working, actually. So, I mean, even when I'm in the midst of name tagging really hard <laughs> or, you know, when things are stressful, when the deadline is coming, you know, when there's only four minutes left on the cookie uh, cutting bake off. You know, that's when the Tourette's really, you know, kick into gear. But other than that, he's a super chill guy. Very, very cool. All right, uh, Dean, we're going to go to you, bud. Uh, What's your elf name? Well, hi there. My name is Buck Hornsby, and I'm just happy to be here. Oh, we got it. Buck Hornsby. (laughs) All right, I love that. Um, Dean, go ahead and roll a D6, please. 1d6 coming up <laughs> six Ooh, wow, big money all right cool so buck hornsby your role at the vip packaging facility of course is the lead creaser oh my god yeah yeah i've been creasing all my life Every crease perfect, every crease straight. Line it up, get it done. <laughs> cool, and you got your character sheet in uh, in your journal now. If you want to tell us a little bit more about Buck Hornsby, now would be the time. Well, a good day is a day at work. No tape wasted, no wrapping paper lost. That's what I call a good work day. <laughs> Amen, brother. Thanks for inviting me. happy to have you along mr hornsby all right paul we're gonna go to you what is your elf name for us please my elf's name is captain herschel m Barr, or (laughs) captain hershey if you would like a shortened nickname hershey perfect why don't you go ahead and roll a D4 for us, please. Okay. Is that a re-roll? Uh, no, I got you. Okay. So, Captain Hershey Barr, your role at this facility, of course, is the Ribbon Master. Yes! <laughs> the best job! I will put this in your journal now. Uh, how about you tell us a little bit more about uh, Captain Hershey Bar, the Ribbon Master? Captain Hershey Bar, the Ribbon, the Master of Ribbons, uh, in a former life was a candy pirate. Uh, <laughs> as you look at him, he has a tri cornered peppermint swirl cornered uh, hat, pirate's hat. He has a gingerbread eye patch and a candy cane peg leg. He also, as an elf, even though being hundreds of years old, cannot grow facial hair. So instead of his white facial hair beard, you see a bunch of marshmallows that have been sewn together (laughs) into a beard. (laughs) Wow. He is a terrible pirate, only for one day, aboard the SS Jolly Rancher, which was a red toboggan pulled by a single emperor penguin. Three hours in the North Pole, left for dead, Santa saved him, and he owes Santa his life and also has dedicated himself to saving Christmas spirit. <laughs> That's wonderful. Everyone uh, who's, <laughs> who's in our group tonight, um, be more like Paul, okay? I thought you said just come up with one I... characteristic. I said, I said come up with a five paragraph character background story. Oh, I missed that I part did that of the text. I did that Come on, guys. Come on. It was two sentences. I limited myself to two sentences. <laughs> Run on sentences Run on for sentences. sure. They were very long. They were very long. Generous <laughs> use of colons and semicolons. Yeah. <laughs> semicolons. Yep. Hyphen. Enough punctuation will always see you through. Isn't that right? Well, that is wonderful. Happy to have you along, Mr. Barr. Kaylee, why don't you tell us 
what your elf's name is, please. How's it going, everybody? My name is Crunchy Snowdrift. <laughs> Perfect. Hello, Crunchy, <laughs> Crunchy Snowdrift. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and roll a D4 <laughs> for us, please? I would love to do that for you. Perfect. Crunchy Snowdrift, you are pretty... Uh, you have a lot of notoriety because your position is so demanding and so visible and you're under a lot of scrutiny. And that position would be, of course, the Chief Design Officer. Yay! Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> So, I'll throw this in your journal, Kaylee. If you want to just tell us a little bit more about uh, Crunchy Snowdrift. Yes, uh, I've lived at the North Pole most of my life. Uh, I tend to work in two-inch stilettos because I find them the most comfortable. And they're also the most eye-catching of all the shoes that you can possibly wear. Um, being the chief design officer definitely comes with its pros and cons. One of the cons being the stress of the job. So uh, when the eggnog goes missing, most people like to point at me. Not saying it was me, but it may have been. <laughs> <laughs> this is so wonderful. All right. This is going to be the best adventure ever. <laughs> Alex, why don't you go ahead and tell us what your elf name is, please? Oh, yeah, my name's Henry Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Chestnut, of course. Everyone knows him uh, for his important role in the facility, which is, of course, the wrap and tape manager. Yeah, he works really closely with the lead creaser to make sure those packages are looking sharp. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit more about uh, Henry Chestnut? Contrary to my voice, uh, I actually am, am quite, uh, almost disturbingly skinny. You're worried when you when you look, because I'm allergic to Christmas cookies and gingerbread. <laughs> it's hard to find enough to eat up here, but you know the lead creaser. He needs me in my department. We make sure that they never run short of nothing. And in return, they, they never waste a single thing. <laughs> All right, wow. We have a, a wonderful crew. Uh, Paul, I have this in your journal. Uh, Ribbon Master, it says it's in Paul K's journal. There's nothing on it. Blank. Yeah, my journal is empty. Mine is oh, also empty. Too. Oh, I suck at being a DM. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I can it's see my, it. It's my first night being a DM, so. That's that's okay. We'll go that easy explains on you. the hiccups, guys. I told I, I put it in your journal, and I didn't put that it can be edited and controlled by you. So I guess that's kind of important. That, that was my guess. Yeah, probably have a, a lot more information here. Is everybody nice. uh, all square then? Anybody uh, still can't see? I can't see mine. All Lead right. Creaser Dean. Creaser. Okay. Dean. Here you go, bud. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well. This isn't just any old adventure, folks. This is a cre adventure yes. yeah hey, there it is yeah yeah so we're gonna get right down to it <clears throat> so as i said you guys work in the elite packaging division it's one of the highest honors an elf can receive mrs claus plucked you from obscurity uh, while you were down in the lower rungs of Christmas Town, working away, working very hard. She saw something in you and promoted you guys to this facility. And here we come to the present day. It's Christmas time again, folks. You've been working tirelessly for the last 30 days, late nights, early mornings. It's all fully approved overtime. It's grueling work as this division demands excellence without fail. 
The VIPs of the world expect nothing less. Finally, Christmas Eve is upon you. One more whirlwind of colorful papers, ribbons, bows. Then you're on a well-deserved vacation. The day goes by smoothly, and there's a general buzz about the facility. As you can now see, there are only a couple more jobs to complete before you clock out. So you guys are busy working away, just filling the last of your, your orders, and um, looking forward to when that clock uh, strikes 8 o'clock, then you'll know you're off. And around 7.30... One of the main doors opens opens up, and you see a familiar elf. And you know this elf uh, distinctly because he's he's very well dressed, and he's a very important individual. None other than Bernard Snowball walks in. Right? You guys know him to be he he sits on the Christmas Council. Okay, he's a he's a big shot. Okay, so he's just coming in, and he's looking thrilled. He like uh, points to you guys over in packaging and he's like thumbs up and, and smiles and kind of looks around and, and he's like, man, you know, thinking things are going really well. And he uh, walks into the warehouse and then up a set of stairs into this, this room that's overseeing the facility where he comes, uh, he opens the door and comes in and he says, Crunchy snowdrift, things are just moving along excellently, aren't they? I tell you what, this uh, it's doing real good this year. Tell you what, they've been working real hard, it's doing real good. That's so, that's so, there haven't been any issues, right? I haven't even seen a single report. No, not a single one, I tell you what. That's great, that's great. Who, who do you think your top performer's been? Hmm. Well... I mean, they've all just been so good. Uh, but that, that Henry Chestnut, I tell you, he's been, he's been really overachieving. He's been doing a little bit above and beyond. I've heard a lot about Chestnut. Yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've heard so many things, actually. People say he can wrap and tape a thousand presents with the same roll of scotch tape. Don't know how he does it. He's got those magic fingers. <laughs> Me neither. Well... Crunchy, I just stopped by this fair facility to hand out some bonuses. You know, it's that time after all. Hmm. So here's a here's a little check for you, a little something. Ooh. Something. Yeah, you know, it's uh, you know, hope you can get yourself something nice and maybe spend it on your vacation or something. Well, that's too kind of you, Bernard. Thank you so much, darling. Oh, you're you're most welcome. Also, I got you a little personal gift, actually. You did? Oh, you didn't have to do that. What is it? Tell me. Give it to me. Okay. Uh, Kaylee, roll a d6 for me, please. <laughs> okay. Three. Let me keep this uh, Christmas jazz going on. This is nice. <clears throat> All right. So he actually, yeah, he gives you a box and it's pretty, uh, it's a, like a medium sized box. And he's like, All right, go ahead and open it. She just goes to town, just throws <laughs> tissue paper everywhere. All right. Uh, inside this box, it's a Roomba. I, I know you're always talking about how your kids are always making a mess at home, and it's so hard to keep up when you have so many demanding things here at the office. I just thought, you know, you plug it in, and, and it'll clean your whole home. You have a great place to come home to every day. That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, oh, you're so. Mm, why don't you just go give all your presents to everyone else? I'll just go enjoy my Roomba. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy you like it, Crunchy. Oh gosh. Okay, I'll, I'll hurry on then. He uh, runs out too. of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Crunchy comes down, and he stops over, uh, he, he goes straight on, uh, walks down the stairs, and approaches none other than one Hershey M. Barr. He says, Mr. Barr, how the, how, how the ribbon's treating you today? Oh, well, I've been tying knots my whole life, so no big deal. 
great, great. Have you uh, have you come up with any s- amazing new knots for this season? Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, I'd be doing the double curl, but this time I'd be doing the triple curl. Adds a little flourish to the boxes. Oh my gosh. I think our clients are going to love that, Mr. Barr. That you blow my stockings right off. I appreciate the kind words. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Barr, I came with uh, bearing, I'm bearing gifts today. I got your Christmas bonus right here. It hands you a little check. It's like 500 bucks. Ah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is the you're, best, you're this is the like best booty I've seen in a long time. Thank thee. Thank thee. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Barr. I also got you something else, uh, actually. A little personal gift. Go and roll a d6, Paul. Come on, big money. Yes, one. It's like, Mr. Barr, oh man, I I wanted to return the favor from, uh, you know, last year's Christmas party, so... Here you go. Hands you a little gift. It's uh, kind of smaller, like a, it's tall and skinny. Do you open it? Open it now, yes. I tear it's into a, it. It's a fine bottle of scotch, aged 14 years. Oh, arr. <laughs> Thank thee much. I knew you'd like it. Oh, I had a feeling. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, don't don't let me keep you. I still got to make my rounds, Mr. Barr. Keep up those ribbons. You're doing great. Merry and, Christmas, Skipper. Merry Christmas. And uh, with with that bottle, you know, uh, don't get too naughty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> uh, Mr. Barr walks over to. Stops over at the executive name tagging department. Clavante, Clavante, are you even here? <clears throat> um, I'm behind a pile of boxes, and uh, you see like, um, like a roll of like filled out name tags, like fly off to the side, uh, into the trash can. Come drops. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> oh, what's the matter over there? Um. Sorry, I um I messed up on a uh, round of uh, uh, name tags. But it's okay. No, we're, on, we're on track. That's okay. Any uh, who, who who's the most notable VIP we're gifting to this year? Would you say? <clears throat> well, it was going to be um, Bill Gates and Bezos, but uh, you know, during this pandemic year, they uh, hit the naughty list with uh, taking too many capital gains. So uh, uh, this year, we're uh, it looks like Elon Musk. Oh, Mr. Musk. Wow, that's exciting. What do you even get somebody like that? Are you well you you have no idea. You just tag the you just tag the boxes. That's all right. Clavante, I'm here to give you your Christmas bonus. Here you go, bud. Oh, it, I, uh, I thought we get bonuses when we're done. Well, we're almost done. We're doing a little earlier this year. Gives you like 500 bucks. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Come drops. Yeah. Oh, oh. How can I forget? I also got this other little gift for you, Clavante. Go ahead and roll a D4 for me, please. All right. Clavante, I think you should probably keep this one, you know, between us. I'm that favor you 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 pulled for me a few months back. It really uh it's time I can return. I can return that, Clavante. He hands you a little package that's about the size of a brick. You you can open it now and see what's inside. Um, I definitely like look around to see if uh, the lead creaser is around, and like when I'm opening it to like not ruin any any paper, and I'm like you know very <laughs> clearly trying to like <laughs> slide it out without you know using the tape to like rip any of the paper, and then it rips a little bit. Candy corn. Just you know, <laughs> that's, that's really get delicately it. done. I get it, I, and I get, I get it out. <laughs> cool. It's a kilo of candy cane dust. 
<laughs> really, you should keep that under wraps, though. I just, man, I, I like to take care of people who take care of me, Clevante. <laughs> I am so glad I did that favor for you a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, Clevante. I grab a, I grab a roll of, uh, of tape and I stick it on my stomach and like I tape it around my stomach <laughs> and i and i put my uh my elf thing uh, my elf <laughs> tunic <laughs> roll it back over the top of it <laughs> that's awesome uh bernard snowball leaves and he heads right on over to the packaging department where he finds uh buck hornsby firstly ah the lead creaser the infamous buck hornsby how the lines today Oh, um, hi there, uh, Bernard, but, um, I'm really busy right now. I'm like, you know, I got to measure everything like three times, sometimes four, and even like five times once in a while. Um, if you could make it quick, please, I got to get back to work. Oh, sure, Mr. Hornsby. Don't let me distract you too long. I just stopped by with your Christmas bonus. You got oh. time for that, right? Oh, I got times for presents anytime. <laughs> Great. I also brought you a present as well. Go ahead and roll the D4, please, Dean. All right, he, he pulls out a box. It's uh, it's another like medium-sized box or so. Ooh, says, you, you can open it right now, Mr. Hornsby. Oh, I can. Uh, okay, I can spare the time. He sets the box carefully down on the table. He pulls out his steam gun and like spritzes it to, to loosen <laughs> up the tape. And he takes out like a butter knife to, to, to scrape underneath the tape and like to save the wrapping paper and slowly unfolds it uh, carefully. I thought you said we don't have much time, Mr. Hornsby. Well, we can't be wasting tape. It's Christmas Eve. We need all the wrapping paper we can get. I guess there's going to be a shortage after the holiday. Nice thinking. You finally open the box, and it's a Nintendo Switch. Oh, boy. I hope I have the time to use this. I, I do, too. No one no one can find those anywhere. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sure it'll come in We were in 2017. <laughs> well. Uh, oh, let me just talk over here. Oh, oh, Mr. Chestnut. Mr. Chestnut, you got okay, some... Okay, bye, got a moment? <laughs> Oh, yes, Mr. Snowball, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Everything going good in the packing and taping department? Oh, just fabulous, just fabulous. Wait, just hold, fabulous. hold on, just give me... Spritz, Evergreen, those are for the Hawkins family, not the Joneses, get those back! Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, man, well, seems like you got a lot of last-minute things to sort out. Don't let me keep you too long, but I just came here to give you a bonus, uh... Mr. Chestnut. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Also, I got a little gift for you. He, he, he simply passes you an envelope. I will uh, open the envelope. Was it, was it sealed with tape or was it sealed like with uh, saliva? He actually just folded uh, the crease on there. Oh, under fantastic. The I'll just yeah. slip it open then and see yeah. what's inside. Yeah. It's, uh, it's five free lessons at an art studio. He's like, I, I saw you drawing and doodling that one time. I thought maybe you'd want to really work on your craft a little bit. You can, it's actually online lessons. So you just kind of call in, you know, make it a Zoom call and you just have your little sketch pad. Oh, that is fantastic. Thank you so much, Mr. Snow. You're, you're really welcome. Honestly, it was the least we could do. Spritz, I just told you what to do with that. Get back here. <laughs> well... Have a very Merry Christmas, you guys. I will be seeing you after the holiday. Hope you guys have a great time and get those last packages out. We don't want to have uh, Mr. Elon Musk waiting too long for his gift. Give our regards to the Christmas Council. <laughs> I certainly will. Mr. Snowball leaves, uh, leaves behind the facility, waves at you guys as he departs. <clears throat> and... Another hour or so, a little, little bit of overtime, an hour or so goes by. And finally, you guys have reached that point, the, the end, the, the last package 
has finally been boxed up, set to the side, ready for shipping. Um, you guys all uh, meet one another uh, because, of course, the chief design officer wants to say a few words uh, as, a, as a final, as a final um, <clears throat> ceremony for to, to commemorate this awesome uh, <laughs> endeavor of the season. Absolutely. All right, guys. It was fucking crazy, but we did it. This was the most insane year we've ever had. There was a pandemic. Everyone ordered the gifts online. We had to wait for like five weeks for them to come in. The ones we couldn't make in store was insane. But I tell you, y'all did a great job. I'm proud of you. It's great. And you know what? I may have uh, may have sneaked this out of the kitchen. We might be able to enjoy it. And I just like pull out a giant thing of super spiked eggnog and just start pouring little glasses and handing around. And I'm like, I tell you what, guys, we kicked ass tonight. Merry Christmas. Y'all did a fucking great job. Great job. <laughs> Hell yeah, we did. Now, did anyone else get fucking weird presents from Bernard? He gave me a fucking Roomba. What the hell is that about? Um, I didn't get any presents. Um, he just gave me money. There's I mean, money. I got money too. <laughs> My eyes are a little right now. <laughs> <laughs> Our Bernard gave me one of the best presents I've ever gotten, and I take a huge swig of eggnog and then chase it with the bottle of scotch. Oh, cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's going to give you a fucking cannonball in the morning. I tell you what. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, we're done. The year's over. Time to celebrate. Wait, so you said he got you one of them Roombas? Yeah, one of them little vacuums that eat the, eat the candy off the floor. He said I my kids might need it. I mean, I ain't got kids. I don't know what that guy's talking about. Huh. I mean, you could sit on it and ride around. <laughs> you know what? I like the way you think. You're a smart man. Elf smart car. man. Elf car. Elf yeah. Car. <laughs> put some lights on it. Put a little horn on it. Hong Kong go around my house. Ooh, I love that idea. Okay. Maybe not such a shitty gift. And put, put some put some hydraulics on it. <laughs> All you got to do is like keep some, some, some peanuts or something on you. And then... When uh, you need to go from one part of the house to the other, you just drop the peanuts in front, and it'll go wherever you want. Um, I don't, I don't think that's how Roombas work, but um, okay. I mean, should we give it a test run? I take the Roomba out and set it up, <laughs> and start throwing peanuts in front of it while I sit on top of it. Are you sure you're good to be driving? Eh, no. Let's do it anyway, though. <laughs> this is one of Elon Musk's new automated cars. <laughs> yeah, make a make an electronic animal handling check. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Playing D and D. This is Christmas, yo. <laughs> hey, I have a plus one. Oh no. Yeah. So Wait, you it, have uh, stat. You got stats. <laughs> yeah. I have no stats. Oh, oh yeah, maybe some I have stats too. I'm at uh, zeros. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's maybe talk about that on break because for now crunchy snowdrift sits on top of the Roomba and puts, <laughs> throws some little peanuts on the ground and the Roomba just goes in the exact opposite direction like getting some dust over in the other area she ends up in a corner just like stuck like hitting uh, hitting the corner just like over, <laughs> over and over <laughs> quick someone turn me around someone come turn me around <laughs> oh I'll go turn it She's around. She's had one too many glasses of wine again. <laughs> Eggnog. Eggnog. Come on now, Mr. Pirate. Oh. Whatever you're <laughs> drinking, Captain. <laughs> so, uh, by now, like, all of uh, the lesser uh, employees, they've they've kind of shuffled out, said goodbye, Merry Christmas, etc. So it's left you guys. Um, all the leads, all the all the manager positions uh, left behind in the facility. And as things are winding down for you guys, um, after having a, a, a couple spiked eggnogs and, and some drinks and some shenanigans, finally the time is is nigh where it's like, all right, well, let's get out of here. And 
We'll call it a night. So, <laughs> do we like <laughs> live nearby? Time. Like, do we have like elf apartments or? Yeah, definitely. They're all studio apartments. <laughs> More than enough guess room. It's pretty snowy outside. It's pretty snowy. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that from out the window, but you guys are like, you guys have like shut off the lights and you're like shuffling out to the door. And at that time, there there is a, a loud bell that sounds out um, in the facility. And you guys would all know this to indicate one more package has just come in. One more package. And the bell chimes out and is like blinking a red light from over by the conveyor belt. Um, um guys, why, why is there a package? We're, we're supposed to be done here. Uh, I okay. We done. Who fucking missed up the shift? Okay, hold on. I go, I go, clink over in my two-inch stilettos and take a look at what's going on. That would, that would be a shipping's problem because uh, you know we 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 just uh, we wrap and wrap and package. Yeah, well, shipping's my problem, unfortunately, too. So, uh, everyone's problem's my problem. So, you walk over there, Crunchy Snowdrift, and you see coming down the conveyor belt is... It appears to be a snow globe. It's a very... It's a large snow globe about the size of a basketball. And it's just coming down the line. Um, and, uh, there's some accompanying, uh, paperwork for this... For this globe. And it appears to be just one more job. It's got to be. It's got to be boxed, wrapped, taped, a ribbon on it. Get a name tag. It needs the. Needs all of the above. What are we thinking, <laughs> Crunchy? Foil, standard, patterns, solid. How about DNA? some holographic tinsel? Holographic tinsel. I think I got some of that somewhere. Hold on. All right, boys. One last job. Let's go. Make it a good one. What, what, um, what, what, what's the um, name on the package so that I can uh, get going on this uh, on this uh, name tag? Is there a name on the package? You tell me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like this is for one uh, Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. <laughs> I don't know. Some guy. Eh, but he's on the nice list. Let's do it up, guys. Make it nice and pretty. I guess that would be on, um, that would be on Clavante to, uh, verify that. It's on uh, the nice VIP nice list. Roy Rogers, um, was a few years ago on the naughty list but since removing the alcohol from the Roy Rogers now that it's just a virgin coke and cherry it's uh it's back on the nice list uh one of the few times that VIPs you know actually flip backwards because usually they get worse and we give them like worse and worse coal <laughs> cool so, yeah. how are you guys gonna do this all right ribbons are ready Captain. Make sure they match the holographic. All right. I go to my... <laughs> I, th like, go open this, like, giant, like, metallic vault door and pull it open. And you know, like, the, the armory scenes in action movies? It's like that just racks of, like, metal racks, but instead of guns, it's just tubes of, of wrapping paper <laughs> on each side of the wall. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the Matrix, when yeah. it just, like, floods. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> so it's so impressive, that organization style. I love it. That's why we brought you on. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna pick a nice, uh... It's going to be mostly silver, but the holographic is going to go, like, between a green and pink, depending on the light hitting it. Nice little oh. snowflake pattern over it. What size box are we using for this? Hmm. Bigger than average snow globe. Let's do, uh, 12 foot by 12 foot perfect box. Alright, got foot, it. I'm 12 inch, 12 inch by 12 Whoa. inch. 12 foot <laughs> <12 laughs> box. 
<laughs> We're going to need a bigger sleigh. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger sleigh. <laughs> I'll uh, whip out my, my measuring tape, slice out a piece of the wrapping paper, just whoosh, whoosh, and uh, get an appropriate amount of scotch tape. I know I know my, my lead creaser. I know how much he needs. So then I'll uh, pass those all over, come back out, yeah, shut the door and close it up. <laughs> uh, as you're uh, looking for the lead creaser, you hear a uh, video game music uh, while hiding <laughs> under, like inside a cardboard box. <laughs> Back. Uh, as Back. You, like, Bucky. What? Huh? What? Bucky, 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 we got one more to do, bud. Get out of here. I thought get it was out, time to go. No, like, bud, we got we one done. more. No, we're never done. We're elves, buddy. Even on vacation, we working. Come on. What? But, I mean, I love the warrior. I, okay. I just heard the bell, you know. Shipping screwed us yeah. over. Oh, all right. All right. I'll just save my game. Um. All right. <laughs> what What do we got? What What do we <laughs> What, what, what's the package? What what am I boxing? Creasing? Uh, 12 inch by 12 inch perfect cube box. Uh, it's got a snow globe in it. Uh, here's your your materials. Ooh, the shiny stuff. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be good. Just give me a second. Pulls out his uh, metallic yardstick. His little steam gun. <laughs> Lines it up. Pulls out a pencil. Makes little tiny erasures just so the line is even more straight. And then grabs out. And then begins the folding process. Using two hands for everything. For every fold. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Could I get your hands here? Uh, chestnut. Oh, just yeah. hold it. Just hold it right here. Yep. And I'll hold it right where uh, it specifies. Um, uh, half a centimeter over, please. Oh, my apologies. There, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> And, and then he begins folding the rest of it uh, and finishes up boxing it um, to the Ribbon Master, I, I assume. Yeah, how is she here? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> uh, Only your best, bud. Brad can, Brad, can I use this items? I can't see what the parentheses says. It's cut off. What can I just that? click it to see what it... I don't know. <clears throat> I have to click it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, try. I'm, I'm oh, do it. I can't click it. <laughs> Part of your okay. equipment. All right. Oh yeah. So yeah. it's just it's just a finger on a stick. It's called the Naughty Boy Three Thousand. Uh, it's a very specific tool for ribbon tying. You always perfect. need that extra finger. finger on a stick. Yeah. Yep. I was assuming I was gonna use it. I, it's cut off a little bit here. So okay. <laughs> so uh, Captain Hershey uh, grabs the box. Kind of, uh, after these guys have been so careful with it, he just grabs it and throws it down. <laughs> and he gets a red ribbon and ties it around and a green ribbon going the opposite direction. Gets out his Naughty Boy 3000 up in the air like he's plunging a sword into someone and sticks it on the box and then wraps both around and does a quad, uh, kind of knot with four different, uh, circles. And then he takes this scissors and he says, Captain, permission to try something a little experimental. You know what, knock yourself off, bud? Last present of the night impressed me. <laughs> Three foot curls. It's never been oh. done. And he gets out his scissors and puts his finger on the ribbon and goes, Rah! and he pulls it out like he's ripping out someone, <laughs> someone's guts or something, just making this huge piratey noise. And he tries to do a three foot curl. On all four. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, make it make a uh, sleight of hand check. Oh, come on, baby. Six. <laughs> That's a nineteen, right? <laughs> uh, I'll say, uh, yeah, with advantage because it was so ambitious. Yeah, they look they look wonderful. They look wonderful. Okay. Ooh, there's like sweat dripping from his forehead after those curls. <laughs> I was a little worried about that, Captain, but it looks pretty good. Maybe yeah, we'll do it. that. Just. Standard next year. Make a constitution saving throw. Oh no. All right. Well, you feel like you're going to be exhausted after you exerted yourself so hard, but uh, not quite. Oh. You're like, oh man, I'm really on my last lips. I take right. a pull of scotch and, 
and retire to the corner. Ah, job well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. I'll pick up the box and take it over to Clavante. Um, I am underneath the table going through old boxes, um, looking for a very specific um, item. And uh, here's Christmas treats. Clavante, here. baby. Wait, what wait, you got I, for me? I'm almost got. Ah, there it is. All right, <clears throat> I found it. And I pull out a uh, a roll of uh, Coca Cola um, stickers with to and from, and I write Roy Rogers, very very um, in excellent calligraphy, and then uh, on the end of it, I draw a little um, polar bear with a red scarf. Um, hanging off, and some cherries dangling out of this polar bear's mouth in red Sharpie. Um, I'm assuming I have more than one Sharpie. I'm assuming I have a a few different colors of Sharpies. Is this, sure. is this correct, DM? Okay, yeah. So I pull out the red Sharpie, and I draw some little red cherries coming out, and then I, I say, from Santa. And it's like the biggest, most beautiful S since it's the <laughs> last package. And then, uh, you know, I do this excellent, uh, the scarf from the polar bear wraps underneath Santa. And it's, uh, you know, it's an excellent calligraphy. And I go, and I kind of have to, like, go to where like, this um, this ribbon is, is nice, but um, now I don't know where to put the sticker. I'm kind of, like, lifting some of the ribbon up, like, looking for a spot where it could, like, be noticeable, you know, but still um, symmetrical with how I place it. And uh, careful with that ribbon there. <laughs> uh, I actually, I ended up going to the bottom corner of the box you know because it's the only place that you could actually kind of see where see it without moving too much of the ribbon uh, um, um all right uh, I, all right snow drift I, I i think i think it's i think we're done all right baby great gorgeous um i'm going to whip out my magnifying glass and just do one final check on the whole box just make sure everything is just perfect for the last gift of the night make a perception check Love it. Seven. It looks immaculate. You can't even find one thing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Last minute presents kind of screwed us over, but this is the most beautiful job I've ever seen. I'm proud of every single one of you. You, you, you. I point to everyone. You. Fantastic. <laughs> See, Let's call it a night, boys. That's what they get when they let the masters work. Ah, no kidding. Um, I'd like to I'd like to go over to um, Buck Hornsby. Um, hey Buck. Yeah. Uh, can, can you help me out with something real quick? Could uh, could you could you fold me like uh, several little uh, pouches <laughs> out of um, out of uh, some wrapping paper? I know that you just make the tightest creases, but uh, I have some small gifts. Just imagine that it's going to be holding, like, rings. Oh, um, don't but... worry. I'll fold these up so tight nothing will leak out. <laughs> Perfect. If I could, if you could make, like, six or seven of them, that'd be, that'd be great, buddy. I'll make you ten. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I get done to folding it. All right. Uh, it's actually frightening how quickly he folds these <laughs> and presents you with ten. Ten little pouches. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I even guys, used the shiny I, um, paper of the last present. I, I, I'll tell you what, guys. Hot chocolate's on the cafe at me, but I have to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I would like, All right. Like, like to go to the bathroom and do some personal things, and then return to the group. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so uh, Clavante comes back, and it looks like he's just had a run-in with some powdered sugar. Um, but it leaves you guys. You have one pra uh, one final package sitting in the middle of you guys. You're all just standing around admiring the job well done. And not only the results, but how quickly and efficiently uh, it 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 got done because when you let all the masters work then things just are are amazing as you've seen firsthand uh so you guys are kind of just sitting there admiring your work uh when the package uh funny enough it like shakes a little bit has like a little tremor 
and then it tremors a little bit more. And then all of a sudden this box is just like shaking uncontrollably and the, the packaging uh, bursts out. And when it bursts out, you guys are consumed by this blinding greenish white light that just takes up the entire room. And before you know it, you guys are feeling sucked away into the atmosphere in this crazy kaleidoscopic rave trip. And that's where we're gonna take a five minute break. Did you just call that a kaleidoscopic rave trip? <laughs> All right, we are back at it again at the Emerald Dragon, jumping right back into our Christmas adventure. So you guys awaken, feeling the chill of a snowy blizzard on your faces as you uh, raise up a little bit, and you can see that it's just a blizzard, an absolute blizzard happening all around you you have no idea what's going on and your your memory of what just took place is it's not even there confusion and amnesia is all you experience at the moment uh you're in a snowy field with a blizzard all around what do you guys do holy shit okay sound off what who's kind here of amnesia I, I, I like uh, okay. to total amnesia or just the last hour? <laughs> just the last uh, the last hour or so, yeah. Okay. I'm here. Uh, All right, we got Henry. Who, who else is here? Five. Sound off. Okay, we got the weird one. Um, I, I'm you here. Like a, a candy cane. You see a candy cane leg sticking up out of the snow, like wobbling a little bit. Face down. Okay, we got the pirate. Okay. Um, Hope I'm no here. one else is dead under the snow. Hey, Buck. Oh, you glad you're alive. Any hand warmers? I don't. All right, guys. Oh, dang it. Okay, this is weird. Uh, first order business. We got to go find somewhere warm. All right. Uh, who here knows how to find places? <clears throat> I mean, I've been living in places all my life. I never really spent any time in between them. Right. Okay. I mean, do we at least have a compass or something? Uh, let me check my parse. Got a lot of shit in there, but I don't think I got a compass. <laughs> I will take out my magnifying glass again and just kind of hold it up to the horizon and try to use it kind of like a telescope and see if I can see a cave <laughs> or a hole in the ground or a cabin. Somewhere not in the snow. <laughs> All you can see is a blurry mess, and you immediately feel silly for trying. <laughs> okay, <Wait>. cool. <laughs> I have an idea. Wait, no. <laughs> Does anyone have a magnet? Oh, um, sorry. No, I'm, I'm fresh out. Uh, I got some scissors. <laughs> I mean, I got my yardstick. Captain. Captain, last oh. time I was out here, I almost died in three hours. I'm a little nervous. What's the plan? Well, we're in the middle of the fucking snow. So I guess the plan is not to die. And uh, walk in a random direction until we can see something that can help us out of this. Sound good, everybody? Wait, mm. what? what's that uh, uh, buck? That present you got? What? I, it's mine. Yeah, but you, you think there's a magnet in there somewhere? Uh, I mean, maybe a really small one. The small, very, fine. very tiny. I've got an idea. But, oh man, I'm not gonna take it apart. Don't worry. So I would like to try. So uh, I've got six tubes of gift wrap. If one of those is foil, I would like to try and fashion a small bowl with the foil side up, so like water won't penetrate. And then, uh, if, if we can melt some of this snow, I've got an idea. Uh, you folded the bowl wrong. Oh, sorry. I, I should have left that to the expert. Buck, if you would. Uh, he does it, yeah. <laughs> it looks way better. Folded the bowl wrong. Idiot. <laughs> Crunchy, you think you got enough light here to to try and, and make some heat with that magnifying glass? Yeah, I think so. Enough reflection from the snow definitely brings in some light. 
And I'd like to try to melt it using sunbeams from my magnifying glass. Oh my god, what the hell are we doing? Uh, it's oh no. It's really, really dark cloud cover, and it's the snow is uh, like you can't even see hardly, you know, 15 feet in any direction. How, uh, how deep is the snow? Um, it's up to your, well, you guys are elves. It's like chest deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let's see, uh, uh Mr. Wait, what, Paul, what's your guy's name? Hershey. Uh, uh, Hershey, it's, um, it's kind of cold. Can I, can I have a, a sip of your whiskey? Hell no. It's my Christmas gift. Hershey, um, Hershey, share or die. What? Share or die. Come on. Warm up the kid. What was the bowl for? Well, I, it's darker than I at first suspected, so we'll hold on to it for now. Um, well, guys, I, I, we, we're going to have to um, move quickly to, to stay alive here. So um, I was hoping to give this to you guys at the cafe, but I, I got you all a little something. And I'd like to <laughs> give everyone a little bag. Um I'm assuming that everyone kind of knows my issues in the crew, hence why they call me the retard. Um, it's not unknown, but, you know, I'd like to give every, um, You know, I uh, I was planning on giving these guys this for, you know, the after party, but um, here, it's some it's it's peppermint powder. Peppermint powder? Holy peppermint shit. Powder. So I give, I give everyone a bag of peppermint. And there's more in these bags than you would expect, based on my budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, or based on my income, <laughs> but uh, guys, it was, it's been a ton of work. But uh, I think this will be really helpful. We got we got to keep moving. So, <laughs> kid, holy uh, shit! Devonta was... here. I throw him the uh, the bottle. All right. I appreciate I take, the gift. I, I take a <laughs> swig. I take a swig and I um, ingest some uh, dust and. Uh, Oh, yes, like they right, say, I... you're always supposed to mix drugs. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's get to it. Yeah. We have no idea where we are, so I think the best choice is a straight line. You know, I think <gasps> you're onto something there, Clevante. Clevante is thinking clearer and moving faster than any of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. He's Bold got a plan and he's fucking confident. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody huddle, everyone huddle, body warmth, and let's move. Let's just move. We're gonna go north, everybody north, okay? I mean, if you can figure out which way's north, I agree. Uh, I say we go that direction. <laughs> <laughs> I confidently start walking in a direction. I don't just, know. If I, I follow. I, I follow. I follow Crunchy Snowdrift, but making sure it's a I straight line. The <laughs> you make, a, uh, make a survival check. Oh, okay. I still don't have stats in my own. I am handout. not good. So you guys walk for about 10, 15 minutes or so, and then it it strikes you that you see that um, there's footprints. You guys come across footprints after a while, and then immediately deduce that you must just be walking in circles. I don't uh, think we walked in a straight line. What? Your one job. Straight line. That's not, I, I wasn't. <laughs> she what was leading the no, way. No, Clevante said that we'd walk in a straight line. Well, can I look around and see any landmarks? Make a perception check. Ooh, I don't see anything. It's pretty snowy out there. We're gonna die. All right, I got an idea, and I start getting out my ribbon, and I say, "Let's go, Clavante. You make sure we go in a straight line, and I'm gonna leave a trail of ribbon so that we don't follow our tracks again." I, and I start leaving a trail waist, of ribbon. Man. Perfect. All right, this uh, this is a winning plan. You guys walk in a straight line in the direction you're very confident it's a straight line after some time you can see you can just make out in the distance uh when the snow and the wind when the wind shifts just right you can see there's a, a a small glow in the distance like like um like town lights orange an orange glow on the horizon 
Am I aware of any towns around the North Pole? Santa's workshop. Um, I'm sure you are, but uh, you're not. You don't know what location you're in at all. So context. I mean, <clears throat> you can make a make an intelligence check if you want to just pull one random town out from the North Pole. <laughs> Does it? Can we, are we not close enough to judge the size or anything like that? It's pretty far off. All you can see is a glow in the Let's, distance. We'll just get closer. <laughs> I'll wait till there's an identifying description to sure. try to figure it out. Sure, sure. Um. Well, Hershey said we don't have uh, too long to survive out here, so um, guys, let's head that way. Yeah. No. That's that's the best thing I've heard all night. Let's go, guys. So you guys continue on into the blizzard towards the glow of the town in the distance. And eventually you make uh, your way and you arrive at this uh, like overlook on the city of a snowy bank. And you can see for the first time, it's a it's a hop in Christmas town. You can see humanoid figures roaming around um, a little far to make out any details at this time. Um, there's like an ice skating rink and um, like a little bell tower that you can see and there's a large Christmas tree in the town square and that's what you guys can see at this time looks warm looks inviting do I recognize do I recognize this town make an intelligence check all right <laughs> Eight. <laughs> You've never seen this town in your life. You guys have been rolling so bad all night. So bad. <clears throat> uh, there's people outside, right? Like, yeah, townspeople. Uh, Buck would go up to one. Uh, excuse me. Um, could you tell us what uh town this is? Um, sure. So you you walk down the snowy bank and kind of get into the town and uh, on a certain street you see one individual appears to be an elf from a distance. You approach uh, but something stands out to you that the this elf uh, their eyes appear to be lifeless and as you as you say excuse me excuse me it actually just walks and like walks right by you doesn't even acknowledge your presence. Well, that was um, a little bit rude. Uh, is there another one? Yeah, uh, actually following right behind him along the same pathway. Uh, I go back to the party. The, they're not, they're not, could one of you guys ask them? They're not listening to me. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll march into town. Okay. You walk march into up town yourself, and <laughs> it, on the exact same pathway, another elf begins to walk. He's hey, yo. right towards you. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me. Yeah, I got a question. You hear me? He just walks and continues his path, lifeless eyes, they and then takes a hard right turn. Huh. There's something up here. Yeah, this is uh this is weird. These are the um rudest Christmas elves I've ever seen, but uh another elf comes in the same track approaching you, Crunchy, and then takes a right turn and goes Can I just the like, grab him by the shoulders and just yeah. kind of like try to make eye contact with them and just kind of shake him and I'm like, hello? Hello? Merry Christmas? Yeah, you grab him by the shoulders and you hear this humming noise like because you're holding him and you realize like you can see like there's little rivets and it's like it, it, these are fashioned. These are these are like robot elves and they're just like programmed on a track. You can tell. They just come periodically and go down the same, uh, pull up the same maneuver. Huh. He just looks lifeless. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a scale model to an elf, but. Okay. I let him go. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, I think we should find a tavern or something, somewhere warm. See if we can find someone alive to talk to. Cause all these guys out here, they're robots. Okay. These are just like the ones we make in the shop. Maybe there's a, a sign, like in town, help us know where we are. I guess say we head towards the Christmas tree. Yeah, no, let's do it. Head on towards the Christmas tree, try to find like a, a town map. 
Yeah, sure thing. So you guys walk and you get to the town square. And along the way, uh, you see various other, um, I guess, robots kind of doing their thing, um, repeating the same tasks. Like you see, like there's food stands and there's like one robot like. And then another elf is like, like (laughs) just having a great time. And you eventually make your way to the town's uh, square. There's a giant Christmas tree uh, and uh, it's standing tall and it's beautifully decorated. And uh, at the base of the tree, there's a sign. It says, the Christmas town Christmas tree. Christmas town, I just remembered. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) Captain, you've been here before? Can you tell us anything about the town? Uh, uh, DM, I'm guessing I know nothing about Christmas Town. <laughs> uh, make an intelligence check. Can I make a history check? Make a history <laughs> check. Yes. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whatever you want to inform us is is what you know about Christmas <laughs> Town. <laughs> There's no clues whatsoever. <laughs> so, I give a five-minute explanation of the town that I went through before I nearly died, and uh, there's absolutely no clues to what adventure we're on in that five minutes. <laughs> Insightful. Okay. So I know all about the town. Would you like to know the state or the town animal again? It's the penguin. Adorable. <laughs> that, that, uh, that was like the the animal in every town. Wait, yeah, at least we're in the North cute. Pole, though. It's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where we be going to, Captain? Honestly, fellas, I had no idea. Never seen a place like this. Like I said, a tavern, maybe somewhere warm um, inside. Maybe they got I, some food. I, I'm looking at these food stands. Yeah, I wanted to take a closer look at the food uh, I'd like, I'd like to see what they're serving here. If is it actual maybe, food maybe some or chestnuts? Yeah, so there's uh, there is the chestnut cart, uh, and there uh, there's hot cocoa, and there's a, a, a candy cane station. All kinds of good things. Um, I would like to get um, five hot cocos. Okay, you walk up to the hot cocoa stand, and this this elf wearing a Santa cap, he's just like, um, Mister Mister Hot Chocolate Robot. Hello. <laughs> can, can I have five hot chocolates, sir? Um, I'm just gonna go. Being that like I, I'm not being very patient right now, I'm just gonna go see if I can go behind the stand and see if there's anything that has to do with hot chocolate back there. Yeah, so you go behind the stand and all the stuff is there. They've got the little packets. Um, they've got little oh. tiny marshmallows. They got mugs. Uh, uh, oh. One canister that says hot water. Um, one that says uh, warm leche. Ooh. Um, I would like to make uh, five peppermint hot chocolates for the crew all right so you grab a cup and like you push like the little pump to get some water going on and nothing comes out of this thing and you go to pick up a pack of the hot cocoa and you go to tear it but it's just like a plastic sheet it looks like a coke it looks like hot cocoa but it's just plastic everything's plastic you can tell why would they use plastic guys uh could i could uh, Buck like look for like a factory name, like you know who made these things? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Make an investigation check, Buck. I wish I had stats. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah, so Buck, you look around for a little while, and finally, like one of the gifts under the trees, another plastic box. You lift it up on the underside, and it says, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Ooh. Coca-Cola. Hey, guys. These things are made from Coca-Cola. They're not by us. Or where we normally get our stuff. Huh. 
Oh, they're not U.S. foods? <laughs> Cisco, bro. We <laughs> normally get it from Cisco. I've been looking at all of them. Could you could you check that? Hey, um, who are you? Uh, Cle Clevante. <laughs> <laughs> check the, the the hot chocolate gear, all, all the devices. See if they're made by Coca Cola. Also, I'd like to check the the, the pot, the the plastics. The... Yep, it all has the same exact stamp on it. Uh, I would like to check the elf robot and see if that has the same stamp on. It, it does indeed, but you have to like check under a flap that's lo located on its ass. It's kind of weird, <laughs> but it's there. How? Okay. Uh, you think there's how, a factory nearby? I mean, maybe. Some producing all these robots. I didn't think Coca Cola had a factory in the North Pole. Yeah, no, our corporate sponsorship really with weird. them ended years ago. This is all really weird. What, what was the animal again? Uh, Hershey? Polar. Of the town we're in. Oh, the. Uh... The town animal is the penguin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is that helpful information? <laughs> Hershey, the last time you were here, was it like this? Plastic hot cocoa and robots and all that? Uh, was it? No. <laughs> was it? Was it a normal town or was it abandoned? You went through a normal town. <laughs> no, the last time I was here, it was normal. Elf people, Christmas tree, Christmas spirit. I would like to go check one of the doors. Just I'll pick a door on a building at random and see if it actually opens. Yeah, it, you open a door at random and you see just lined on the shelves like more nutcrackers than you can count. Um, of all different shapes, sizes, um, decorations. Um, everything in here is plastic the same way, um, but it appears to be really uh, nicely crafted. This whole, this whole place, it's like two scale, everything, but it's just plastic. This is beyond even my ability to manage an inventory. Jesus. Uh, is there... I'd like to take a look at the Christmas tree in the square. Are there any, like... I'll help with that. Yeah, like, um... Any ornaments that have, like, signatures on them? Or just just any clue as to what sentient being could have done this? Go ahead and uh, either investigation or perception. You, you choose. Uh, what's better? What's better? Investigation... Oh, investigation. Uh, can I get the help action from Paul since he was helping me out? Sure. Yay. <laughs> Arr, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so you are looking very, very closely at all the different uh, aspects of the de decorated tree. And you're looking really, really close at one bulb. It's like a red bulb. And you're staring at it for like two minutes. Anyone watching is like, what the hell is she doing? But you're staring at it like, what is going on with this? And actually, it occurs to you that it's not the bulb itself. It's what you see in the reflection. Because you turn around and you see one sight that seems a bit out of place from the rest of the rest of uh, uh, the the area. So <clears throat> you have seen thus far elves that are on a, a repeated track, basically doing their pro program duties, and then they just do it over and over. You see there's an old man with a big white beard uh, just sitting on a bench someplace, and he's just Gandalf. staring, staring out at the... Uh, at the square, uh, he's kind of over by the hockey rink, kind of watching, uh, watching the hockey, uh, the the elves do their choreographed routine on the on the ice skating rink. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, guys, this way, please. 
And I jump off the tree and just start strutting over to the old man. He's like, excuse me. Hello? Please tell me that you can speak, for the love of God. He looks a bit startled, but he says, Hello? Oh, my, thank Santa. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, I'm, I'm good. How are you? Great, Merry Christmas. Can you please tell us what's going on in the town? Uh, is the elves are here and they're doing their, their thing. And they, they keep doing it. Looks, looks pretty nice. You see the, see the skating rink? Yeah, no, the rink looks fantastic. Uh, how, how long have these elves been doing their thing? And, and the way they're doing it now, you know? Uh, as long as I've been here. Okay, and how long have you been here? I, I don't remember. Pretty long time, though. Okay, what's your name, love? Well, they call me Christmas. C Christmas past. Oh, no. Okay, Christmas Pass. It's lovely to meet you. My name is Crunchy, and these fellas are all my friends here. Everyone say hello to Christmas Pass. Hi. Um, do, do we know the Christmas story? Uh, make a history check. Can this just be, like, who Christmas Past is? Hey! Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Clavante, you're familiar. You're familiar with this, with the tales. You've seen It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life. No, it's a, uh, is a Christmas, Christmas Carol. carol? Uh, is it a Christmas Carol? It's a Christmas oh, whatever. Carol. Yeah. It's a Wonderful <laughs> Life. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nazis come in and start shooting. <laughs> <laughs> they just produce Christmas one shots, right? I don't know anything about Christmas. <laughs> uh, okay. I lean over. I lean over to <laughs> um, to Bucky. I'm like, is that is that Christmas past from, from Christmas Carol? Uh I mean, I always thought he was a little shorter, but uh, I guess so. Uh, should should we be? Don't you think we should be a little worried? Are the others here? Can, yeah, can we hear this conversation? <laughs> like, I um, mean, uh, are are the others here, as in Christmas future and and Christmas present, right? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> um, Mister Christmas Past, <clears throat> um, is is future and present here? I don't know. Why? Well, uh, well, um. Hi, uh, I'm my name's Buck. Uh Buck Hornsby. Um Hello Buck. Uh, hi, uh what brought you here? Uh in the first place, yeah. Uh I don't know. Well, we were brought here by a uh I describe it as a kaleidoscopic rave. Um <laughs> uh just a bunch of lights and we we magically appeared here. Do you know anything about that? Like Huh. No, I I don't know what you kids do these days with your dancing and your raves and all that nonsense. Beats me. Hmm. All right, well, uh, thank you. I, just, I don't know. Uh, hey, Clavante, I, he, he's not giving <laughs> us any information. Yeah, duh. It isn't really reminiscent of the book. Um. Christmas. Can I do something weird? And I'd like to take a look around the the ice rink and see if any of it looks familiar, like anything anyone has seen in their past, their personal past. Any of us? To see what exactly? Like does like does this look like a childhood memory or something like that? Like like does this look like? Like this setting looked like something that we would have done in the past, like someone's past. Um, 
I mean, you've seen like various uh, ice skating rinks. I guess it looks as familiar as any of those. Um, not striking out in a particularly nostalgic way. Got it. <laughs> Her Hershey gets nice and close to his face and kind of stares at him and is like, I like your beard. You use oil on that thing? No. Just let it grow. Just like the olden days. Ah, I wish I could grow a beard. These marshmallows don't quite give me the character that you have. Say, uh, what's, what be the last thing you remember? Uh, well, I was just sitting here watching these, watching these elves skate about. But before that, I, I explored the town a little bit. Uh, not sure. I mean, not anything too interesting. Captain, this guy sucks. Let's move <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, um, this, this guy's not really helpful. And, uh, yeah, no, he's I He's confused, get it. and uh, he likes watching robots. I'm hockey. not confused. I know, I know what's, I know what's going on. I've, I've been around for oh, okay. a while. Oh, what's okay. Then what's on the going on? Here? What year is it? I, <laughs> I, I don't know that. I lost track of time after a certain time. But what what I remember keenly is the founding spirit of Christmas. Let me tell you about it. Oh, dear. People would go out and they would buy their things or make a gift. And then they would give it to the people they loved and it was very sentimental and and I think that is that's the best spirit of the season Christmas Christmas past that's it was the best time it was the best time okay that's very sweet uh what do you know about Coca-Cola? Well, they don't put cocaine in it anymore. But <laughs> like they did when I was just a young man. Kind of lost it. That'd be a crying you know. shame, I tell ya. Yeah, I, it really is from the past. I have to agree with you. But I did see there was a big Coca-Cola label oh, over there in the town. There was a a big doorway. It said something like, uh, do not enter. Warning. Okay, that's something. That's something. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Copyright and... Coca Cola. Okay. That's yeah. always good to include the infringement. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, thank you. Uh, I think we're good. Enjoy your skating. Uh,. Oh. <laughs> I will. Right. Okay. It's pretty. Have you been watch, Have you watched it? They look really good. I feel like that's a clue. I'm gonna go ahead and look and watch the skaters. <laughs> the skaters lull you into a trance that you could only find as an elderly individual, just reminiscing about days of yore. Right, that didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, let's go to the big old door that says "Do not enter." Okay, let's go find that. I um, feel like that's um, the only clue we got. Uh, so these, these these robot elves are they're, they're exactly the same size as us. Yeah. Um, you guys, uh, what what would you think about um, disguises? <clears throat> if we, um, you know, if we tried to, you know, get inside of one of them, put on there. You want to go inside the robot? <laughs> I mean, not using those words, but yes. Are there I'd uniforms like to wear a different? robot? <laughs> Say what? Are their uniforms different than ours? Um, they look a little bit different. I mean, like you guys each have your own kind of unique things, but uh just a pretty much standard dress, you could say, for uh, a Christmas elf. 
Would you do say all the, do all those elves look exactly the same? Um, there's there's little differences here and there, but okay. Do okay. we fit in then, like our clothes, like uh, the robot elves? They have uh, various components on the inside and things, so you wouldn't be able to exactly like wear one. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sorry, that was a that was a dumb idea. Let's go check out that door. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> I will say I'm a little concerned that breaking and entering might put us on the naughty list, but I mean, it's not an actual town, right? <laughs> These are robot elves. So it shouldn't yeah. be a problem, right? Besides, there's extenuating <sighs> circumstances. We gotta figure out how to get out of here. Um, um, I would point out that um, pretend these robot elves potentially could take our jobs, in which case the naughty nice list might not matter. That's a very good point. <laughs> Let's yeah, in the second the oh, I mean, we'd have to unionize anyways. Yeah, we can oh. worry about that when we get back safe. <laughs> Through the door! <laughs> Let's go trespassing. So you guys walk down uh, a back alleyway, and you find the door that uh, Christmas Pass told you about. Like he said, it says, warning, do not enter. It says, sponsored by the Coca-Cola company. Uh, underneath in subtext, uh, from behind the door, you can hear there's a consistent humming sound. Can I see if there's any other doors? Or is it just that door? Is there like any other side entrances or alleys or how big is this building? Yeah, so this door is like um, probably as big as like the back of one of the houses. It's just, um, you think like in the construction, they just put this here, maybe... Uh, as a as a way kind of um uh outside of the modeled town area kind of like hiding in plain sight Good job. um i would like to take um a roll the roll of coca-cola <laughs> uh stickers that i had gotten of the the, <laughs> the tune froms <laughs> um and i'd like to write visitor <laughs> on it <laughs> <laughs> with, these, uh, with these gift wrapping tags or the name tag stickers and I'd like to write a visitor on it and uh, put it on and, and does, uh, does anyone else want one? Uh, I'll take one. Yeah, I think Good it. idea. Yeah, Alright, all right, all right, visitor and I'll make everyone a name tag that says visitor and do my best to like do like really fancy calligraphy that covers the to and from part on the tag. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, you fashion one for each person. And it looks wonderful. All right. <laughs> They'll never see it coming now. <laughs> I've <laughs> Let's open the door. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to try knocking. I want to stay on the nice list as long as I possibly can here, guys. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and knock on the door, see if there's any response. All right. Uh, just the clank of metal as you knock. Um, no response. There is, a, like, a uh, large metal handle on the side of the door. Hmm. All right, I tried. And I'll try to pull the metal handle. It doesn't try move. To... Oh, okay. I'd like okay. to help her pull the metal handle. Everybody on. I tie a bunch of ribbon around the handle and make it into a thick cord by like re knotting it, and we all five grab this cord that's attached to the handle. On the count of three. One, <laughs> two, three. Everyone and we all pull five. Check. All five of us. <laughs> Everyone make a strength check. Everyone make a strength check. <laughs> the ribbon will hold. I still don't have stats, by the way. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if any of us are going to have strength. Natural. There we go. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Our she rolls. Yeah, to be fair, guys, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure, like, um, I don't know. At various The various rolls aren't going to have, like, amazing stats regardless. So just roll with it. Um, Yeah, so uh, you guys are heaving. And it doesn't budge at all. But then Hershey Bar just like with all of his might, like coming like at the very back, just <laughs> and uh, it find the door uh, pops right open. Damn. Yar. 
Oh, but you that would be the power of ribbon, Captain. I believe it. Do a good job. <laughs> Hershey, make sure that you uh, make a note of how much ribbon you just utilized. We'll mark it off under uh, uh, unavoidable expenses. I'm sure Santa will be okay with it. Oh, I know. It's the accounting department that I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, well, good thing we are, it's a good thing we got our bonuses before this. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Measly $2,000 for my bonus. All right, guys, let's go on in. <laughs> Wait a minute. Two thousand. I, walk oh, I walk through the door. Hey, Captain. I you gotta share that booty. I walk through the door. <laughs> she preaches about trickle down economics. And I, I hang my head and I walk through the door. <laughs> That's amazing. So you guys <laughs> you leave behind the snowy storm. And you enter this 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 room. It's it's cavernous, and immediately what stands out is that it's a series of gears and pulleys, and uh, just in constant motion. Um, and um, there's a large sign on the back wall that says "Snowy Storm System." Doesn't appear to be anyone in this room. There's kind of a walkway that li leads either side around these uh, perpetually moving components. It says snowy storm. Correct. Snowy storm system. Snow, snowy storm system. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'd like to start walking up one of the stairs and just kind of see if I can get a bird's eye view. Uh, there's no stairs. It's just one uh, oh. level that goes around on either side. Never mind. Is it on? Yeah, definitely. Maybe we could turn it off. Or, well, the gears are in in motion at the very least. Uh, do we see any kind of like control panel or anything? We Make, are getting home. Uh, storm. Make a perception check. Yeah, so on the back wall, you see there is like one um, like monitor of sorts and some other components uh, nearby. Um, seems to be like oh, behind like a locked glass of, of some kind. I'm going to take a closer look. Okay. Yeah, so you look at the monitor and it says like snowy storm system online. And the, uh, there's like a keyboard underneath kind of a cage area and like um, seems to be like a lever behind a uh, glass pane. How big is the keyhole? If there is a keyhole. For which part? Uh, for... Oh, is it like two separate locks for the keyboard and for the monitor? Yeah. Um... Uh, the lever is up by the monitor, right? Um, yeah, just off to the side. All right, how about that one? How big is that keyhole? Uh, like a standard size. Any of y'all good with uh, locks? Got something thin and lock picky. <laughs> I've, I've been known to pick a lock or two in my day. Get those treasure chests open, and you know the ribbon tools and and such. Um, well, I'm I'm pretty good with uh, fine tools. I just didn't bring my um small metal tools with me. I've, I've only had my sharpies. I was at work. I can punch shit. Does the monitor have anything else on it? Besides just online? No. Okay. Very simple. Clavante, why don't you help me with these scissors? Do you have any tools? Um, I, I have a Sharpie. And, um... Use that. <laughs> <laughs> make, 
Make sure to take off the cap. <laughs> Where's the lock? Is there a lock to pick? Yeah. Yep. It's right next to the keyboard. Um, it's in a small case uh, to the side. Actually, to the side of the monitor. There's a, a lever within. And so you're gonna you're gonna pick a lock with a sharpie. <laughs> I no I, a scissors, um, a scissors and a sharpie. <laughs> Um, I'd like to, I'd like to look over, and uh, be like Hershey. Um, I I don't think this is gonna work, man. Um, yeah. I oh. try anyway, and I say oh. here, and I give him my pointy, my finger pointing stick, and uh, tell him to like assist me. Um, <laughs> I will try to daintily guide his scissors with the finger pointer stick from three feet off to the side. <laughs> with excellent precision but try to uh slowly jiggle each um each set lock i mean how many pins are you know in this lock can i feel them make a dexterity check <laughs> so uh the tip of the finger breaks off within the lock ah! <laughs> I've had that for 800 years. <laughs> that was my favorite tool. Um, Blast ye. I can, I, can, I can draw you a new one. I push him aside and try to pick the lock with the scissors. Damn it, Clavante. The, the lock is now jammed. It has a, a, a finger <laughs> lodged inside. <Arr>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a little trouble visualizing I... this. To... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Paul. I just like collapse on the ground, grab the broken stick and grab my scotch and start drinking. This be the worst day of my life. <laughs> so what we're trying to unlock is just a glass panel that's blocking off the keyboard and stuff. It's blocking off a lever. And so okay. like there's a lot like a, a keyhole and these guys have just jammed a pair of scissors and a, a, a finger tool <laughs> into this lock to try and break it free and it snapped off the the finger tools finger at uh, the top of the finger and so now the the keyhole's jammed okay but the thing that is locked itself is just a glass door per se so it's like or a metal a frame panel. there's a glass door um uh can I'll, I... I'll take my, i'll take my cap off and set it in front of the glass and be like um snowdrift i think you're up why you got the hat in front of the glass I don't want to why you cut your hat? hand you know? Eh, that's considerate enough. Uh, I would like to take off my stiletto and use the heel to bash in the glass. <laughs> oh, no. Right, the stiletto. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, make a strength oh, check. Oh, there's a hole in my hat. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh! <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, you break this glass, and it, it, it falls, um, like, immaculately. The entire frame it doesn't leave a single sharp shard remaining it all falls to the ground and it's a perfect opening towards the lever uh henry darling is what you wanted babe yeah i'll pull the lever <laughs> you pull the lever and you hear as all the uh, rotating components and gears uh, and, and belts and pulleys, they all stop. No alarms? or No. You know, I probably well, should have uh, like looked for an instruction manual or something before I did that, but hey, it's too late now. Oh, we did something, and something's better than nothing, eh? That's the truth. Uh, that that old man's not going to be happy. Besides the door we came in, is there any other doors? This seems to be an enclosed space. It's not how I design it, but weird. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no fire exits or anything. This place is a death trap. You guys don't work at Coca-Cola. <laughs> And there's no other, like, um, metal containers or anything, no other supplies. It's just this this giant machine and the... It's just this this single room. That's correct. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to go check and see if there's still a storm outside. And I just start walking. I assume you guys follow? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys exit this room, and indeed, the storm has ceased. It is no longer a blizzard upon you. Uh, you guys can see um, the sky seems to be clear now. It's blue, mostly, but then you get some different kind of um, different colors here and there refracting uh, in the sky that you're not really sure what to make of exactly, but the blizzard is no more. Looks like a kaleidoscope rave up there. Did this factory literally just make a blizzard? Uh, is there any movement from the uh, automatons? Or have they seized as well with the storm? They seem to be going about their business still. Oh. Hmm. I thought this was a robot switch. Are the skies oh. clear? Mm-hmm. Well... Maybe we could use, you know, the stars and moon to find our way home now. Which way do we go? Um, North? Well, <laughs> I, I would like... Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I'm thinking climbing up the tree, getting to the tippy top, taking a look around, seeing if there's anything in the area. We are on the exact same wavelength. That's literally exactly what I was going to say. Oh, you are getting a promotion when we get back. Both of you guys uh, make some athletics checks, please. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> Crunchy, you, you climb up to about the third or so limb on the tree, and then you catch some snowy part, and you slip, and you fall back down again. Um, Henry Chestnut, however, make it to the top of this Christmas tree very, very safely, very securely. You take a peek around, and in the distance, you can see, beyond the ice skating rink, a series of towers and smoke coming out from them. Uh, upon one of these towers is a giant bear, and he's pu putting a bottle up to his lips. <clears throat> oh, course intermittently just on on repeat and um and that's what you see i'll call down to the rest there's a whole whole coca-cola factory over there <laughs> cringe is just making snow angels where she fell and she goes ah shit all right guys <laughs> that's one for the swear jar crunchy ah fuck <laughs> what do I gotta start saying gumball now? Gumdrop. Gumdrop, whatever. <laughs> to the bear. Uh, yeah, climb down and uh point in the direction. Head to the bear. Perfect. So you guys head out and you pass Christmas past on the way, and he goes, huh? Oh. Heading out so soon. Yeah, well, we saw in the distance a giant polar bear drinking Coca-Cola, so we're going to go see what that's all about. Huh. Maybe I should come with you. I'll, I'll get my things. He stands up and he's like, <laughs> excruciatingly slow. I am. Uh... Wait up! Wait up! I'm, I'm coming. Wait. Hi. Um, Clavante. Yes. I think that this old man might need some energy and clarity of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can uh, work something out. Let's see. Uh. Uh. I'd like to take out, um, I don't have any hot chocolate, do I? Since it was all plastic hot chocolate. Do we have any water or anything like that? I got eggnog. I got some water. And I pour out a glass of scotch and hand it to you. Some pirate water. Um, <laughs> tell you what, how about, how about you finish that scotch? 
Oh, sorry. Um, if you could uh, drink that scotch, and then I will um just use that glass because I didn't know you had a glass, and that's what I really need here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bowl made out of foil. <laughs> oh, you got some <laughs> from the from the hot cocoa stand. Oh yeah, no, yeah. So I take one of those plastic <laughs> cups, and I'll, I'll um put a little snow in it just to try to uh and melt some snow down. Like I don't know, with, like my finger. I don't know, put it under my jacket for a minute. You know, try some body warmth, uh, just to try to make. I, I only need like an inch of water, and then I'll uh, sprinkle some of my uh, special powder in there. It's like, oh, I'm Mr. Christmas Past. Um, it's uh, yeah, at your age, I'm sure that you probably suffer from pain. So I have some um, uh, peppermint flavored um, painkillers, and uh, I think it would really help you out out here. I, I wake up and take my meds every day so I can manage my pain. What do you mean? Um, well, let's just say we could, you might be, um, a little more sore tomorrow based on the speed we're going to be moving. So, um, if you could drink this, it really, it's for your benefits for, um, for this task we're undertaking. Uh, you make a, f make a fine, po what do you, what do you call this stuff? Um, call it, uh. Uh, uh, peppermint flavored Theraflu. Theraflu. Um, some people call it peppermint born. Um, vitamin P. <laughs> That's the one. I've been seeing my doctor for a, <laughs> a long time. He's never mentioned anything like that. Um, How do I, I think know your, I can your even doctor's trust doctor's probably you, the same age as you. Um, Maybe just give me a Coca Cola. Um, did we steal any Coca-Colas? <laughs> this is close enough. This is, um, it's like Coca-Cola. He like said Coca he wants cocaine, right? Um, I'm not gonna lie Just to tell you. tell him you're, it's you're, drugs! You're, 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 it's you're, drugs! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the old days! Relive your youth! Oh, it's, it's classic Coca-Cola. It, that it, it, it means it, 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 um, it has the exact same effects except why didn't you like, say oh, that you can't get that anywhere anymore um sorry yeah, hand it old over people, say old no people more. judge me so <laughs> you know uh i haven't i you know, my parents don't even see me on christmas anymore so he's down the whole thing and he's like that's the kick i remember <laughs> and he's like he, he, his like sprinting speed is like your guys' normal speed, so he's like able to keep <laughs> Perfect. Kaylee's like, wow, these stories we tell sure are so <laughs> I am just thinking about my life decisions that led me to this moment right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's find a new D and D group. <laughs> and no plays them again. <laughs> well, I mean, my idea was to put him on the Roomba, so. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like drugs better. <laughs> Don't you drugs, guys, kids? Guys, we're turning her. We're turning her, guys. Slowly but surely. <laughs> See you guys. Exit Christmas Town, heading towards the Coca Cola facilities. You travel for maybe an hour or so and crunchy you keep seeing in the sky these crazy refracting colors that you just can't understand what they are it's like it's a blue sky but then you'll see like browns and you'll see black every now and then and um and then some flashes of color but then it just goes back to blue huh. and i've never seen anything like this this doesn't look familiar at all the colors anything no Oh, this is some weird ass shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. I just start putting money in the swear jar. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just make a mental note of it. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so you guys continue forward and another 30 minutes or so, or so, you reach this area where there's rising towers all around you. Again, within the streets, you can see there are elves going about their business, doing their thing. There, there are Coca-Cola um, pickup 
trucks and uh, semi trucks and all sorts of 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 Coca Cola swag everywhere. The the town windows, the like the the windows you pass by, it's just like um, uh, shelf to ceiling Coke bottles and and different memorabilia. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to go up and like knock against one of the the tires like is this is this an actual car or truck seems to be plastic scale models once again okay mm. i mean i say we head towards one of the uh there's smoke coming out of some of those chimneys yeah what is smoke warm and maybe people i guess we'll find out yeah i don't think robots are very good at making fires yeah let's head to a tower boys while you guys are talking me and um christmas passed i'm like hey what's <laughs> <laughs> and me and i were just like, <laughs> in the back <laughs> oh I don't, know. I don't know if my heart can take it we're gonna find out. <laughs> oh, let's see. oh my god! We cannot kill this man. We cannot kill this man with drugs on Christmas. He killed himself. <laughs> if this happens, it's so, gonna be so alive since Christmas oh. passed. <laughs> no, back gonna, then wouldn't have been Christmas be present. Like... <laughs> well, back then wouldn't have been Christmas present. <laughs> and I, I think it's like the right. funniest <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> we're we're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to turn it's going to turn into right <laughs> This is going to turn into Little Miss Sunshine where we have a grandpa that we're carrying around who died from drugs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I head towards a tower. <laughs> Definitely. So you enter a tower and it's like big glass doors and you enter this space and it's just like um a basic receiving area like like basically corporate um that's where the um the uh the what do you call uh receptionist there'd be a receptionist behind the counter it's just another elf like waving at you um it seems to be a very decorated ground floor uh, there are some elevators uh, in the back. You can see there's a restroom sign in the other direction. And you've arrived at uh, Coca-Cola Corporate. Hmm. All right, Al. If anyone got a pee, do it now because we're going up and I don't know if there's going to be bathrooms or none of their opportunities. So let's go. I'll, I'll go pee. <laughs> ah, same. <laughs> 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 I'm just used to taking um, snowdrift orders, you know. <laughs> it's uh, I'll it's see. still still in work mode. <laughs> I don't know when she's gonna let us have another piss break because if she's on one, like, and it's again like if we're behind on our shipments for the day and she's on one, you pee in bottles. <laughs> in, in, <Yeah. laughs> And, and sometimes I to call her. Uh, so I, sometimes I call her uh, Crunchy Snow Bezos. You know, in the back. Oh man! But she never heard that. I'm I'm, I'm deathly afraid of her, and she's a great boss. <laughs> to the headquarters. <laughs> oh right. I start looking around. Go up the stairs. There are rooms. All right. There's an elevator, as I mentioned. You guys ah, hit me elevators. elevators. Elevator button. Signs, like what floors, what department and stuff. Yeah, definitely. So uh, outside of the elevator, uh, the first floor up is like accounting. There's other ones like uh, uh, marketing team. Uh, you guys scroll through a, a, ver a, a variety of different um, uh, spec uh, specified floors until you see at the top floor is the executive suite. I bet that guy knows where to go, how to get us back home. Oh, really? I thought we should do accounting. I mean, we could try it. <laughs> I mean, we could probably learn a lot from their invoicing system, but I don't think we need to worry about that right now. I know, I know. I'm, I'm trying to do the joke thing. Apparently it doesn't land very well. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> 
I just hit the elevator button. (laughs) You know me, I'm too focused on work. I know, baby, I know. I don't understand anything you guys are saying. (laughs) Just drink your happy juice, Grandpa, okay? (laughs) Um, I'm fresh out. (laughs) Okay, then don't drink it, because I'm afraid you're going to die if you have some more. (laughs) Give me me some more of that. (laughs) Do not give him some more of that. Uh, VIP lunch button. <laughs> yeah. I think there's some more upstairs, old man. Follow us. So you guys pile into the elevator and it begins to ra- raise and you're in there for over a minute. You guys are raising for quite some time until finally the elevator door opens and you're in some sort of hallway. Um, it's like a white uh, tile floor and, and very uh, clean looking. You guys walk around the corner and there's one other door that's uh, partially open. And you can see in this room that there are nice couches. There's uh, like an espresso machine. Um, that's all you can really make out from outside of the room. Uh, can I investigate if this stuff is all made of plastic? Uh, you knock on the walls. You 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 knock on the on the little table and the plant that's set out uh, outside the elevator. And yeah, it's it's all plastic. <laughs> um, guys, I think Coca Cola is uh, not making Coca Cola anymore. I think they're making plastic. Can I see if they have the recycle sign anywhere printed on any of their products? Yeah, it's on, like, most of the different presses. Okay. Like, the flower you look at, you turn it over, the, the flower pot, it's like, yeah, please recycle. <laughs> I bet it's still going to end up in a landfill. I'm kind of wondering if this place is even, like, real. Everything's made of plastic. Yeah, I was starting to wonder the same thing. Are you implying oh, well. that plastic is not real? Are you well, implying that most of the world is normally working like this? Well, no, but I mean, it's kind of racist towards plastic to not call it real. Huh? Never mind. Baby um, cakes, you astound yeah. me. <laughs> I would like to walk up. <laughs> I would like to walk up to the door that's slightly cracked and just kind of knock again, trying to stay on the nice list and say hello. Please, for the love of God, someone say hello get no response okay i open the door and walk in all right go with you guys enter this room and it's really just uh it appears to be very plush uh accommodations here there's like a flat screen tv on the wall a very nice kitchen area nice couches as i mentioned um but perhaps the most striking thing is the view as you guys walk to the end of the room, there's these large windows, and you can see all of this uh, this this Coca-Cola plant area. You can see the Christmas town off in the distance. But strikingly, uh, up th- there's like uh, the sky. It, it, it's blue uh, to a point, and you guys are above that point, and you can see clearly from beyond. Looks like a conveyor belt. Looks like boxes stacked up. Looks like tables a loading and receiving area, some desks, a miscellaneous clutter. And that's when, collectively, your memory comes back that you were just in that place and you're looking at it now from another vantage point. Okay, boys. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? We're in the goddamn snow globe. Son of a reindeer, yes we are. And yes, I know that's one for the switch, our crunchy, I've got it noted. I didn't say bitch, <laughs> that shit. <laughs> um, if only, if only Karen from HR could hear all this, you guys would be fired. You think? No, no, she's a bitch, present? I don't care. Like, should we <laughs> send this out to whoever's supposed to get it? I think we got bigger problems right now, Buck. Yeah, this has a really nicely made snow globe. 
I, I will admit, I'm impressed with the quality, especially on the scale, but... Wait, is the snow plastic? We didn't even check. Um, it was cold. Okay. I mean, yeah. Figure everything's made out of plastic these days. Why are you here? <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> How the hell did you end up in here? I... I don't know. I told you. Can I do an insight check on this guy? I want to see if he's lying. Do an insight check. Cool. Do an insight check. <laughs> God damn it. Ha! <laughs> um, he is the most honest, forthright individual you probably ever met. Yeah, okay. You're all right. <laughs> Guys, um... This is going to Roy Rogers. Who, who do we know where? Oh, well, it's gonna be hard to ask shipping right now. Mm. Yeah, this is gonna um, this is gonna be I, really hard. I would like to look around for any like documents, pieces of paper, things that might have information written on them. Okay. Ledgers, invoices. Yeah, so uh, it, off to one side of the room, there is like a little um, mail sorting uh, area, and you look on the, the different shelves. They're all pieces of paper that repeat the same thing, property of Coca-Cola Corporation. Um, as you're investigating and doing your thing, you guys hear from down the hallway a little elevator chime. Ding! And that's where we're going to take a five-minute ah! break. <laughs> Son of Beach. Yes. <laughs> all right. We're all back and ready to go. At the Emerald, Emerald Dragon. Dragon. I try not to burp up that gumbo I just, just consumed. <laughs> but I can get away with anything. I'm the dungeon master, right? It's my world. You guys just live in it. Okay, so you heard a chime from down the hall. Signifying that the elevator has reached your floor. You then hear multiple footsteps approaching the room. What do you guys do? Um, how far was it from the elevator to the door? Uh, uh, uh maybe like um, 90 feet or so. It's like a hallway and there's a turn and then the door. Would there be enough time for me to try to put tape across the uh, lower part of the doorway? Uh, yeah, you can try. Okay. I'd like to uh, try to ninja slide towards the door with my tape out and try to do like a little foot trap. Okay. Uh, do make a dexterity check, please. It goes terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you slide in front of the door, and then the door flings open and hits you and knocks you back uh, into a wall. At that time, you see a short... Ah! <laughs> you see a short man walk into the room. He's dressed in IT chic, little, little hoodie with a t-shirt, some pants, <laughs> fitted pants. <laughs> Behind him is a polar bear about eight feet high appears to be a mechanical polar bear is following this individual he sees you guys and he's like what the hell are you doing in my suite this is my house i oh, didn't expect visitors today um um and i'll point to my uh my name tag like oh we're we're just visiting did you sign in at the front desk? Um, the robot wouldn't respond to me, so I just took the liberty. Excuses, excuses. You are trespassing. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. We didn't mean to do that. We wouldn't be if we couldn't, if we didn't have the choice, okay? But we're kind of stuck here, and this is literally the only place that we've found so far that has any semblance of life. So uh, if you could help us out here, just let us know what's going on, how we can get from in here 
back out there. And we'll be right on our way. Okay? Capiche? Did you just capiche me in my own home? Yeah, it did. This is it's my capiche. house. This yeah. is my house. It's a beautiful house. Good job. I like the way you captured the Christmas spirit. Can you help us get home? Why would I help you? You come into my house making all these demands. That's not really a demand. It's more of a request. Uh, in our defense, um, uh, there, there was no indication that this uh, lovely home of yours was actually inhabited. That whole village was just inhabited by... That's the worst excuse ever. I can see... Oh my god, did you go through my mail? Uh, I did not. I just looked at it. Wait, did, we, did we see a name? Did, can I, like, peek over at the mail and see if there's a name on it? It all just says uh, Coca-Cola. Co. Oh. <laughs> I didn't go through it. I just looked um, at it. <laughs> we're, we're very sorry. So, oh, <laughs> could, you, could, you, could you tell us your name? I'm Clevante. My name is Christmas Present. I'll pull out the, the naughty nice list and look for Christmas Present. <laughs> He's not on either list, strangely. I don't care about what problems you have, all right? I like it right here, all right? Right now is the most important moment as far as I'm concerned. And right now, I'm living the dream. I got a tower. I got a view. It's beautiful. Why would I ever help you leave? Because right now, at this present moment, we're annoying the heck out of you. Okay? If you help us now, right in this present moment, you'll be rid of us in this present moment. Okay? And the fastest way for us to leave is for you to help us in this present moment. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Most leadership I've ever taken on in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, persuasion's pretty good. I really don't like the sound of this. Everything right now is perfect for me. And you know what? It's all about me. So I'm not concerned about your problem. Honestly, there's five more executive suites. I'll, I'll, I'll just move. I'll just move. I'm leaving. See you later. I follow I him. Follow him. <laughs> Making sure that my footsteps <laughs> echo in the hallway as I follow. <laughs> follow he and the polar bear get to the elevator and like push the down button. Uh, for some reason, the lift has already returned to the bottom floor, but it's like it's buzzing after every floor that it passes. And he's just looking at you. Are you really going to follow me? Hey, this is the present. Every one of your present moments is going right. to have us in it until you get us away from here. Right now, I've got nothing better to do. I don't like this one bit. All right. Uh, hey, furry, get him. He sticks his polar bear on you guys. And yes, his name is furry. Yeah. Get used to it. Uh, everybody needs a roll initiative. Uh, oh, no. I'll bring you guys over to this little screen here. We have no weapons. Um, that is an opinion. Speak for Everything yourself. is a weapon if you're that brave enough. That is true. Uh, it would appear that I am unable to highlight my token. Oh, crap. We as well. We as well. I always forget. We as me as well. <laughs> We well, as well. We as well. <laughs> Too much eggnog. <laughs> all right. Can't hide. You can't move your tokens at all. No. Nope. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't. Uh... Man, I I really suck at this. Nah. The whole thing. All right, lead creaser. You should have your thing now. Uh. Chief Design Officer. This is there the name go. tagger. <laughs> Who's the blue man? The bottom one? Is yeah. Me. Ironically said, he can't grow facial hair. His token has facial hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's all good. 
Just imagine those are made of marshmallows. <laughs> like, do you have to, All like, right. change that out daily? Because, like, I feel like moisture from breathing would start melting your marshmallows. Hmm. They've solidified by now. <laughs> <laughs> They're really They're old. <laughs> petrified marshmallows. Petrified. <laughs> like a dinosaur. Oh, wow. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wow, look at you guys. <laughs> Me and Buck the sitting there with Christmas past in the back. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just need a uh, lead creaser. And... Uh, and... Mine was 10. I can roll again, but it was be I got before you. I had I got control. You in the turn order now. 10. Perfect. Oh, Buckhorns be nice. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, so... <laughs> um, lead creaser, you're up, followed by executive name tagger. All right. Christmas battle music. Oh, Mwah. oh, we're fast. We got 30 feet movement. Okay, this is awesome. I'm gonna try and uh, hey, work each of us. sidestep around the bear for my movement. All right. Oh yeah, this is a hallway. So let me uh, just draw oh. some parameters there, sir. I mean, it could just be a very wide hallway. <laughs> yeah, it's a very loose term. Oh my god, <laughs> a hundred twenty foot hallway. You know, everything's a hallway. That's an elevator. Yeah, it's a hundred and twenty foot hallway. It's to scale. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, this is the whole hallway now? Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to work to the left of the bear and make my way towards uh, uh, Mr. President. <laughs> okay. Two, three, four, five. 30 feet. And then... Uh, I'll try and work my way around to the back side of him. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, by the way, yeah, I, I was very intentional by not giving you weapons. You guys are just about your business, doing your thing. So you're going to have to get creative, and then we'll figure out kind of what damage would be resulting of your creativity. And, and uh, um, can I clarify this was a metal bear? This was like a robot bear? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. okay. I spent my turn dashing. So I'm okay. done. Just behind him. Cool. Yeah. All right, uh, executive name tagger. Um, does this bear have two eyes? He does. Um, I'm going to sprint towards the bear, and I would like to slap two name or two stickers on its eye sockets. <laughs> All right, uh, make a dexterity check. <laughs> <Astral 20! laughs> all right tell tell us how it looks um it's it's not it's not fancy <laughs> like, like i see this bear like he's like get him and like you know just everything gets tense and i just like look down again there's like three sharpies like in my pocket right here just, I, I like I got my, my my tape is actually like in like a holster, you know. And I look <laughs> down and then on the rest of my utility belt there's like several different, you know, like name tags that I can like scroll down and I just grab two and I go Whoosh! and I just run straight at the bear and I just <laughs> um just slap it and then I just kinda like take like two steps to the side to like see if it can like see me or not. Cool, yeah. It it looks around like it can't see you at all. Okay. Um, yeah, that that uh, that's my action, right? Anything else? I mean, if I can, I'll kick it, but I don't. I think I've already used an action. Nope. Okay. Uh, it's the it's Crunchy Snowdrift's turn. Oh no. Um. I think I am 
Hold on, let me check one stat real fast. I think I am just going to stand where I am and put my hands on my hips and try to channel my most angry New Jersey woman yelling at customer service, just going, really? Are we really doing this on Christmas? Are you for God's sake sending a fucking polar bear after all of us? And I want to try to intimidate him into pulling back the bear into stopping this. A little vicious mockery. <laughs> yeah. Make, a, make an intimidation check. Come on. Um, roll a d4. Love to. All right. As you're scolding Christmas present, he, uh, for a moment, just kind of shudders a little bit, taking one point of psychic damage. Yeah. <laughs> <getting> scold. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Um. Now I'm just gonna stay where I am and just All glare right. at Christmas present. The polar bear is going to try and uh, swipe Clavante at disadvantage with his claws. So that's a 13 to hit. 13 hits. And a 17 to hit. Whoa. That's amazing. So he, he can't see. Yeah. He's just kind of thrashing about. And he is going to get you. Uh, each of the claws is 1d8 plus 3. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, Whoa. 20, dude. Thrashing damage. Uncle Vante just gets savaged by this Coca-Cola bear. <laughs> I'm imagining that, like, I'm, like, proud of myself because it can't see me. And it just throws me into a wall. Um, but I, I immediately just pass out. Oh my god! <laughs> but I'm really stressed out. I'm like, ah, wrinkled gumdrops on a fucking. <laughs> and then I get smacked by a polar bear. Damn. Yeah. All right. So, disadvantage. It's. I pass unconscious out. Unconscious Clavante thrown up against the wall and slashed, bleeding. <laughs> Jeez. Captain Hershey Bar. Who's the green guy? That one? Oh, is that? Okay. That's me. Um. I guess I. Is there a way to heal people in this? <laughs> um... If you're creative enough. <laughs> I am going to run. <laughs> to... I can't. I can't even get to you. I'm just gonna move up 30 feet. Is that all I have? I'm so far away. Yeah, that's all I can do. All right, nothing um, else in your inventory that might help. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take my ribbon and uh, tie it to the scissors that I have, <laughs> and uh, kind of create like a a missile weapon that I can retract. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie the uh, scissors to a ribbon that's about fifteen feet long. Actually, let's make it third. Let's make it thirty feet long. All right. And uh, that'll be my turn. So what are you doing? Just like uh, swinging it, and you're just gonna like <clears throat> throw it like that? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice. That's badass. All right, we'll see what happens there. Um, the wrap and tape manager. Uh, the bear took no movement on its turn after savagely mauling Clavante, right? Correct. Okay. Well, then I will use 25 feet of movement. And I am going to, with my roll of scotch tape, uh, securely uh, tape the end of my measuring tape around the bear's foreleg. Okay. I think it's easy enough to do. He can't even see you coming. All right, and then I will use my remaining <coughs> five feet of movement uh, to move there without provoking an attack of opportunity. Sure. I, okay. I thought of that too, Alex. Wait, does attack of opportunity <laughs> even happen if he's blind? I believe a blinded creature can still take reactions if it can, like, 
here because it's only the one sense. Oh, yeah. Well, he would just channel the Christmas spirit because that's how things work in my world. But coming to Christmas present, uh, he starts getting really angry and um, he's going to do a, 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 a very millennial Christmas present move, which it's called uh, the complaint quake. And he starts saying, this isn't what I planned on at all. I can't have this. No. And like when he does this, like it lets out a quake. Um, the floors start rolling along. Uh, and I need, uh, I guess, just Dean. Yes, just Dean is within the area. Um, and that would be Buck Hornsby. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. All right, so Buck Hornsby, uh, this um, this quake actually causes you to go prone, and it's going to... Uh, the impact on the ground and the subsequent uh, beatings from getting tossed up and down, it's going to be 2d10 bludgeoning damage. Jeez. So only six points as you kind of, like, hit your head against the floor and then, like, come back again, and your, your uh, arm kind of gets twisted backwards for a moment. Um, and you are currently prone on the ground. Uh, there are tears welling up in the eyes of Christmas present. Come back up to your your turn, Hornsby. Fuck. He's just getting tossed around. He's going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Christmas present. Um, uh, we're just trying to get out of here. Do you, do you know the way? Like, do you know how to get out of this snow globe we're trapped in? Uh, he's really, really angry. You can make a persuasion check if you want. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho, ho! We don't mean to be a bother. <laughs> Christmas present. Uh, he's he's a bit exasperated after his last maneuver, but he his breathing calms down a bit. I don't know how to get out of here i've been stuck here and i don't even know how i got here i'm just living it up because you know every moment we need to just live it to the fullest like it's the last night of our lives could you perhaps tell us where christmas future resides i have no idea i haven't seen that guy would you mind if we just left your your house and be on our way not really. That's all I asked for in the beginning. We were hoping that you had a way to... Any information to help get us out of here. I mean, because we wanted to leave you alone. We just want to leave. No. <laughs> At this time. He says... All right, furry. Enough's enough. You need to stop harming these 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 people. Sorry we had to fight right there. You know, when I don't get my way, I get really upset. It's okay. We all get a little mad sometimes. <laughs> I would like to go over to Provante. <laughs> okay, I would like to do two things to Clavante. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I'd like to do for Clavante is I'd like to reach into his pocket and pull out some of the peppermint dust and rub it under his nose to try to wake him up. He's not breathing at the moment. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, Get it on his gums. I will put my hand in my his mouth and just kind of rub it around there. Try to, And then while I'm doing it, I'm just going to punch him in the chest and try to jumpstart his heart. <laughs> <laughs> make, a, make a medicine make a medicine check with advantage okay. oh my god oh so Dude. and you rolled a nat 20 for death save you thoroughly you got some in his na nasal cavities you rub some on the inside of his gums and then when you when you hit his chest it's like a, it's like an old car starting up, like, <laughs> and it starts. Uh, you can see him. He just his eyes open. He takes a huge breath in, and then even even more. He's just like, 
I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're right. Like, Thirty-nine and a half a pull. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, love. Okay, don't do anything stupid. Mr. Christmas present. I look yeah. at the bear, like I'm like against the wall. <laughs> I was the wondering, like, looking around, like, <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Christmas present, sir. Uh. I was wondering if you'd like to join us. I mean, we already have Christmas past with us. Perhaps we could use your help and you could use ours and we could all get out of here. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like you want to be here. You brought Christmas. You brought Christmas past here. I didn't yeah. see him. Where I'll is point, he? Point to him in the back. <laughs> oh, what are you doing back there? Old man. He, he looks out. Who you calling old, man? Uh, not off to a strong start. Christmas, uh, Christmas past says again. I know all ab all about you. You're the one out here ruining Christmas time with your fancy gadgets. And your little doodads? There's no spirit in it. All right, let's keep it civil, okay? Christmas presents like, what do you mean keep it c civil, man? Christmas right now is awesome, all right? Everyone gets their little screens, their little contraptions, their PlayStations, and their Game Boy Advance, and they have a great time. They sit around and they think about singing carols, but instead they just look at their phones and their different things and it's a great time and it's all like, you know, who cares that there's family around cuz we got our little our little gifts. Yeah, I got a Nintendo Switch. Really? You can't get those anywhere. I know, right? <laughs> Can I see it? Yeah. Oh, hey, what games do you hey, have? Hey. Fellas. Um, fellas. Um, fellas. Um, fellas, um, we're on a mission. I'd like to I'd like to um, crawl over to Chestnut and like try to have him wrap some bandages. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, quickly like look at the size of his injuries and like allocate the correct amount of my wrapping paper and just like quickly <laughs> slice out. Make a medicine check. <laughs> oh my god! It's pretty pretty damn suitable for for what for the injuries he's sustained. You've wrapped his entire midriff because <laughs> he had like guts hanging out. <laughs> you, like put those back where they belong, pour a little alcohol on it, wrap it up with the with the gift wrap. He's looking great. Good as new. Um, and unfortunately <laughs> he sees something taped to my stomach. <laughs> like, don't, 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 just don't pay attention to that. I'll share some more later. And I'll, I'll stuff it into my bag. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> There's like some blood in it. Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, Christmas present. Have you seen any other uh, places looking around from this here tower? We've been to the village. We've been to here. Is there any other place you've seen? I was taking a look, but then you got here and, as well, you know what happened. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen anything, man. I just I just hang out in this place. It's, it's great. It's great, really. It's got everything I need. I Like I said, I don't even know why I would even consider leaving. But uh, where where are we even? I mean... We're inside a snow globe. No shit. Yeah. Uh, 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 Clevante, who was it addressed to? <laughs> was the, the snow globe. Right? <laughs> Who was it being sent to? It was being sent to Roy Rogers. Yeah, Roy Rogers. Oh. Whoever that is. I'm 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 in uh, in foil and wrap. I don't I don't really keep track of the where the gifts are going. I have no idea who that is. Is that some like old boomer? I mean, I don't know. The the package showed up after hours. 
Um, he was supposed I, to be I, done. I actually, um, I think he was actually um, a golfer or, or something like that. But uh, he essentially became a spokesperson for Coca-Cola a long time ago. All right. Anyway, yeah, I don't care about that. But I guess we're in a we're in a snow globe. So how do we get out of the snow globe? Well, uh, is there anything interesting in the tower that we could take a look at that might help us find something? Like a fun room? There are some really large vats of Coca-Cola downstairs. Okay, okay, okay. That's a good place to go. Various to equipment and machinery. But what are we trying to do? Like, you know, uh, break the glass of the snow globe or something? How are we going to get out of here? I mean, maybe. Well, if we break um, if we break the glass, I think that will just still be small and in a very big world. That could happen. Or it could break whatever magic put us in here. We don't know. Whole bunch of unknowns here, folks. Is there, is Wait. There, uh... You two are Christmas past and Christmas present. Don't you don't you two have some magic of some kind? Like isn't that part of your shtick? The magic is it's in the spirit of the holiday. I look down at my feet and I tap my heels three times and I say there's no place like home. <laughs> there's no place like home. And I squeeze my yeah, eyes. Make a Wizard of Oz check. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, Watch me get out of here and the rest of y'all stuck. <laughs> kind of want to just roll. Yeah. Millennials like, I mean, uh, Christmas presents like. Millennial. Yeah. I mean, he is, but. <laughs> maybe we just, maybe you guys, maybe, oh, fuck, that's Christmas past. <laughs> Maybe we need to build something. I don't know. Like, let's let's build a, a battering ram or a spaceship or or a, or a cannonball or a, a trebuchet. Ooh. I mean, I could Yeah, yo, that's all about you, Hershey. You're good at that shit. Uh, I think first and foremost, we check out those uh, those towers that you were talking about. Take a look, see if there's anything in there, and then maybe we can build something. How about that? How's that sound, baby? I mean, it sounds sounds pretty good. It's just on the ground floor of this building, actually. Okay, lead the way, in the handsome. Basement, in the basement, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, the elevator's here. It's been here for a while. All right, you don't need me to lead lead you everywhere. You're very capable, right? Well, I mean, I thought you might like to be in the spotlight. Take all the credit, you know? I actually shy away from this spotlight a little bit, miss, but we don't need to get into that. All right. Okay. Reach their own, baby. <laughs> so you guys pile into the elevator and it descends the tower. And along the way, Christmas presents like, yeah, I think like, you know, just uh, I was playing this game Angry Birds the other day and uh, something something like that. You know, they, they fly into things and they break them. Maybe uh, maybe you guys need to to be a little angry about it. So a giant weapon. All right. Or maybe uh, maybe the Nintendo Switch guy over here has got some ideas, whatever games he's playing. Um, no. I don't, I don't have any ideas. Oh. Was... <laughs> I mean, are there any rooms you haven't explored yet? I've been so... pretty much all over. What are, you, what are you looking for? I mean, anything, really. We're just trying to find, like, something to help us get us out well guys um if we if we found christmas pass in the other town we found christmas present in this factory maybe there's another place we can go to and see if we can find the future hey christmas present mm. are there any vehicles we could use you know snow uh snow glow mobiles yeah snowmobiles that was it well, there's a bunch of semi trucks parked on the street. And that'll do. I checked them out. They're all plastic. Didn't see if they run, though. They might. Guess we'll go check that out. 
Well, we... the elevator opens up and you get to uh, the basement floor of this facility and it is a large sort of warehouse uh, set up. And there are probably like 20 giant vats labeled Coca-Cola product. And Christmas present walks over to one and grabs a glass and, and pulls a little, uh, uh, a little lever and fills his cup with uh, Coca-Cola, drinks it. It's really tasty. We'll try some of the Coca-Cola. It's pretty good. Can I get a glass and then just kind of smell it? Just kind of see if it's uh, if it's actually Coca-Cola there or if it's something else funky? Sure, yeah. Make a, make a perception check. Ah, fuck. It reminds you of any Coke product you've... Any Coca-Cola you've drank in the past. Mm -mm. Anything else than vats of Coca-Cola or, you know... It's pretty much all that's in this room. There's some buckets, um, various uh, like levers and things on one end of the wall. Not really sure what what those are too, but they kind of extend up into the tower a ways. Um, uh, I'd like to fill up a bucket with Coca Cola. Okay. Just to have it with me, and um, I'd like to actually go back up and check out the reception desk if that's possible. Cool. Yeah, so you're carrying a bucket of Coke. It's like a five gallon bucket. <laughs> and yeah, reception area is there. You explore that. I would like to check the visitor's log, see if there's any names written there now that I know it exists. Okay. You look at the sheet, and it's kind of just filled out. You can tell it's pretty much mock information, uh, except for at the very last one, you see, like, Christmas present written in, like, distinctly different uh, handwriting. <clears throat> I pour myself a scotch and coke. Mm -hmm. and ruminate on the situation. Putting coke into a 14-year scotch? My heart. <laughs> Shut up, you're at the reception desk. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way we can make this Coke explode? Like if we put it in a small container and shake it and then throw it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if we did that but on like a really big scale? What if we took one of these big old vats of Coca-Cola, see? So have y'all ever done the Mento game? Where you take some Mentos and you throw it in the thing of Coca-Cola and you shake it up real big and then it goes pop. What if we did that with the vat and then it shot up into the air and it shattered the glass on the snow globe? Now you're speaking my language, Captain. But we just need something minty. Like peppermint powder. <laughs> like peppermint powder. Oh my god. Um. So we either need to bring the vat to the glass, or shoot something out of the vat at the glass. I, um, I don't I know if the... the coke itself will explode the glass. I'll tell you what, why don't we try this on a, a, a small scale to see if this works? Well, I mean, we already know it's going to work. It's just basic science, my dude. Well, you see, I, I heard actually that the reason that the Mentos explode isn't actually the peppermint. It's the uh, micro dimples that are on the Mentos. And when it reacts <laughs> with the sugar, actually the bubbles create super bubbles. And it actually has nothing to do with the peppermint flavor. <laughs> do I believe him? <laughs> <laughs> he seems like... He I'll, I'll write and look. I'll come back down. <laughs> Bucket. And I'll, I'll take the, the five-gallon bucket and I'll uh, take the pouch of peppermint powder and drop it in. And is there a lid for the bucket? Uh, uh, perhaps in the thing, but yeah, you just like, you took it by the handle, kind of like sloshing it here and there on the way up. So, not the moment. Well, if I returned back down to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. 
So oh, then I'll... You guys are all at the ground floor now. In the reception mm -hmm. area. So yeah, then I'll uh, I'll go back down to them, set it down, throw it in, and slap the lid on. All right. <laughs> See what happens. I need you guys to make all uh, dexterity saving throws. Oh, no! <laughs> Gladly. You guys, uh, you do that. And then you can see that this this plastic bucket is just expanding and expanding, and you hear this gurgling inside, and it just keeps uh, getting louder and louder until it, and you guys are just like uh, just blasted with plastic shrapnel and Coca Cola <laughs> flying in all directions. You made like a little bomb. Uh, wow, you all uh, are able to avoid the worst of it, but that is going to be. Okay, yeah, just four, uh, uh, actually half. So uh, just two shrapnel damage from the exploding Arr. bucket. I am. Um, <laughs> I pass out. Do I take that too? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll say with uh, your bandages and everything, you regained half uh, hit points. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you got some temporary hit points with the amount of uh, peppermint powder. Yeah. Uh, Brad, do I take that two damage with my 18? Yeah, uh -huh. you you guys okay. all pass your savage, take half damage. Sweet. Well, that works. Okay. I, um, I'm very disappointed that it worked. Right. <laughs> how, do we break, how do we break the glass? Well, I don't really want to shoot anybody up with the coke. I mean, that was a lot of pressure. I think the coke itself might be able to shatter the glass if it gets high enough. Oh, well, I could yeah, throw um, something in the vat. Here, here, here's the issues I'm looking at right now. Um, it seems that uh, we can't just drop this in there and blow up the whole snow globe because um, we'd die. I've but now the next, problem, the next problem I have is how do we transfer a vat of coke all the way over to the glass wall? Because um, that would um, also seem to not be helpful or i mean like not possible at this point i've got an idea i'll be right back and i'm gonna check go the up, trucks checking the trucks i'm coming with ya <laughs> checking the trucks um what exactly are you looking for uh a do the doors open b if the doors open do they like, is the inside modeled? And if so, is there a key slot? It's a perfectly scaled model of a Coca-Cola semi-truck. Okay. I would like to try and start the semi-truck. You'll need a key. Hot wire it, chestnut. <laughs> Like that guy I'm... Nicolas Cage in 60 seconds. Hershey, I work with sleighs and reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I even know where to look f to put the key in is because of the movies. I'm going to run back to the reception desk and like look around see if I can find like a key locker or... Like keys in a drawer or something. Make an investigation check. And I would like to check out the back of the truck. Is it like a something that could hold a bunch of coke in it? You open up the back of the truck, and yeah, it's like a large semi semi truck, right? So there's a bunch of pallets inside, and they each have uh, they're each stocked with bottles of Coca Cola. Oh, I open one. Is it real? I drink it with my scotch at the same time. It is real. It is real. Guys! All right. So, uh, Chestnut, you find uh, underneath, like, the lip of um, one of the desks, there's a small little uh, section for key rings. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you find, uh, like, five different keys there. All right, I'll go try all the keys. Cool. Yeah, so you... you uh, Try a couple, they don't fit, and it makes you a little nervous, but then the next one you try fits perfectly. 
when I turn it, does anything happen? It fires up. It seems very clanky, as if all the components were made from plastic. And what is oil, right? Yeah. <laughs> what is motor oil? How many right. trucks are there? <laughs> Uh, These are five trucks. trucks. Yeah. Is, is any of are any of the trucks a tanker truck? Actually, yeah, one in the very back. Yeah, it says Coca Cola on it. All right, Hershey, let's get you back. You thinking here. what I? <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking, Chestnut? Oh, I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. All right, I'm glad you're thinking what I'm thinking. What you're thinking. <laughs> Let's go back to the group. Going back down. All right. Hmm. We got a tanker truck. The trucks run. I tested it. I got all the keys. So now yeah. we just need to figure out how to route the coke from this van, or this vat, into that truck. Also, four of the trucks are ready to blow already. <clears throat> Can we um can we find coke. any like any hoses like for to make a siphon? Yeah, there's a bunch of different hoses in the in the uh this facility where all the vats are. So this this one this one truck is ready to seems to be filled with coke like just straight Coca-Cola, correct? I I will admit Clavante, I forgot to check to see if it was actually cuz the the semi trucks they were full. I forgot to check if the tanker was full. Well, check if the tank is full. That will right. save right. us a lot of work if it is. All right, guys. Way um, to go, Jack. I'm, um, and I'm knowing that I'm going to have to get rid of this, so I'm, like, using a bit more. But my brain is fired up right now. All right, guys. Um, I have I have several things um, I'd like to, to lay down. I've got I've got a bit of a strategy. Um, first off, um, Mr. Creaser and Mr. Rapper, I think that we're going to have to do um, to make uh, very, very small, tight um, packages uh, and then Mr. Um, uh, or Mr. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Krasinski, <laughs> uh, Mr. Hershey, um, we're going to need to use your ribbon to do, um, if you could fashion some kind of release so that we can, from a safe distance, pull the ribbon to then release said product into the tanker. Next thing is we're going to need a hose and I can siphon this Coca-Cola directly from this tanker into, you know, the Coca or from the Coca-Cola vat into the tanker. So we got to first we need some a long piece of rubber hose. Then we need to start wrapping. Then we need some uh, time releases. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to be project manager. How about this? Um, I mean oh, to run my. all these ideas by you, project manager, to see what you think of this plan. Clavante, when you rearranged the whole workshop two years ago, were you on the same drugs? <laughs> um, Is that where all this maximum efficiency came from? Uh, you know, sometimes, <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I get a little nervous and I, uh, you know, I've got to organize things and sometimes it just comes to me. Not to say right, that I use right now, things huh? on the not on the job at all, ma'am. Uh huh. Clavante put like labels for every single thing in the in the warehouse, <laughs> like labeled everything. <laughs> <laughs> Clavante, baby, honey, we're gonna have to talk about your little problem when we get back. But right now, I like the way you're thinking. Okay. Um. Firstly, that means, that means raise, right? Clavante. Okay. Yes, Shut up. Stop speaking with my accent. It did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, firstly, can you check and see if the tank has got the got the coke in it already? That will save us a full on step. Go, shoot, do that. I go check that. Tanker's empty. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Levante, we need your siphon. Anyone oh. here know how to drive a truck? I know how to sail a ship. Is that close, close enough? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> I sail the tanker truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, drop down the the mast, and it's not catching any air. It's not like catching any wind at all. Uh, but then you turn the key and you just push on the accelerator a little bit. It's very wait. Straight so, down. just just to check here, we're we're. Uh, Christmas elves. How tall are we? 
about like three <laughs> feet, two and All a right. half. So I went up with Hershey because I imagine that Hershey is steering and standing on the seat to like look, be able to see. <laughs> And I'm down below, like pushing on the accelerator <laughs> and brake when he tells me to. <laughs> no, no, brake! I said brake, not that one. Right one, your other right. <laughs> we like, we like crash into three of the trucks. Oh my They're god! Turning around. Bucky, Bucky, baby, please tell me you know how to drive a truck. Uh, I mean, you play enough video games, Dar. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I'll give That's it a true. try. I... Okay. You, you do it great, sweetie. We love I, you. Go I drive need... the truck. Okay. Um, I need someone to reach the pedals for me. Oh. Yeah, I got take it. Your <laughs> I just take a swig out of my flask. I am exhausted. <laughs> She's just standing off to the side. <laughs> as these yes, are like Careening everywhere. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. There's um, gotta be a loading bay around here, or something. Um, Bucky, could you um, could you reverse that uh, truck to um, to the, the Coca-Cola container, please? I got it. Uh, here, stand behind and you know, give me the signals. Uh, you know, if I need to back up or whatever, it's hard to see. Um, uh, I will, I will try to reverse him to the closest part of the site. <laughs> All right, yeah, so uh, you, like, crash up against some shit, but uh, eventually get it done. You side-scrape the, the vehicle, <laughs> like, whatever. I give Crunchy uh, a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, so you, you definitely get it done. Um, so you guys are, yeah, at the, the facility. Mm -hmm. Siphoning Coke. I'm just going to be on my Nintendo Switch until it's ready. We're ready to go. Uh, we actually uh, need you to be creasing packages for us. Small, small uh, packages. Uh, okay. While they're doing that, um, I'll go back up stairs to the observatory and try to see the best spot on the horizon to drive this to. The closest spot. The spot with the least bumps. Sure. Yeah. Make a perception check. Would love to. Can I use my magnifying glass to give me advantage? So when you use your magnifying glass uh, from the ground level and you look up at how the light's refracting, like I was mentioning earlier, when you look through the magnifying glass, you can see clearly the different areas within the warehouse on the outside of the, the globe. It's just how it it's like a double refraction thing that happens. Uh, so yeah, take advantage and uh, make a perception check. Yay! Cool. Yeah, I mean, like, pretty much, uh, you get the the um, the idea that pretty much any any spot will do. Sounds good. Like a week spot down. or anything. Go back downstairs to the boys. See if they're done loading the trucks. Which way, Captain? I'll start driving these other vehicles i don't know if we need the others i think just one should do it what do you let's think let's do them all i really let's do them all. Mm -hmm. okay cowboy all right i start driving one oh, towards boy. the glass <clears throat> so wait let me get this straight so some of these structures have individual coca-cola bottles in them yeah like pallets of yes they're, they're all yeah, i don't see how that's going to activate anything really here so I think only the tanker is really what's going to work. I try to get her. From the observation deck, uh, Crunchy, um, the thought probably came over you that uh, you are nearer to the glass than you would be otherwise when you're at such a high, a high location. You have no I idea how, how far you would have to travel on the ground level. High location. You said you went to an observation. Area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so up in the tower again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're at the top of the tower, and you can see like the glass and see the warehouse, and then you can see like kind of the blue horizon underneath. You're like closer to the glass at that point than you would be when you're standing on the ground level. So can the truck fit in the elevator? 
How do is we that, get the coke to the confusing? top floor? <laughs> what if we put... confusing? Confusing because what, what I was trying to figure out is like if we were um like if northwest southeast if one of those directions was closer to like the glass think wall. A, think of a 3D model. You're in a snow globe and there's towers in the snow globe, and the globe is only a finite area, mm -hmm. right? It has so at the top of the tower you're nearer to the glass than you would be if you're at the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Well, maybe your original idea, just the vats straight up. I don't know. I am fusion. Oh. I don't know if our idea is a good one. I mean, this globe, it's got to have an end on the edge sides. Why don't just... we just try to drive one of the tankers to the side? Yeah. yeah. What if? Plan A. We tilt this thing onto its back and fire it straight up like a rocket wait so you want to project the truck itself using coca-cola up okay you know what fuck it i love that idea <laughs> <laughs> i'm fucking doing that idea boys okay any objections yes how are you firing a truck <laughs> <laughs> a lot of drugs well see i don't understand how could... we would see scientifically if you look at it that would require that we somehow inserted the drugs from the bottom, which seems very difficult. That would be like dropping a truck on top of it to then propulse it upwards. You see, it's like I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the equation. What if we put like a tanker on top of another tanker and then exploded the tanker beneath it to launch the tanker on top up to the ceiling? <laughs> but then we could just I'm gonna throw this like out Halo there. One? I am going to throw this out there. We live in a magical world. I think it it might be pretty logical to assume that we can shoot a truck into the air yes, without yes. having to think about math and physics. Yes, it's definitely it's definitely logical. Very okay. much. Krishna's presence ch chimes in at this point. He's like, well, yeah, if we're scientifically speaking anyways, like, are we really going to try and walk around uh and find the end are you oh, you guys are some of those flat flat globers or something you think there's just an end yes yes yeah, sweetheart but i've just about had enough of your lip okay well, i've had okay. your lip yeah yeah a lot of people do but out. i gotta keep talking because i'm in charge he, he pulls out his phone starts ignoring you just like thumbing through it Okay, fellas, on the count of three, every one of us is going to push on the side of the truck and try to get it to points upward, okay? It worked last time. <laughs> oh, okay. What is this? It is a D, &D game. We can do this. What is that? <laughs> All right. Can, can I do one thing? Please. I would like Please. to go into the room with the vats. And look straight up and see what is above the vats. Uh, yeah, so um, the vats, uh, there are like basically just tubes going uh, up through the ceiling. Okay. Then I would like to very quickly, because you said there was some smokestacks that had like stuff coming out of them. Sure. I want to go try and find one of those and see how large it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So in one off the one corner in this room, like you see another door and you open the door and it's really, really warm from within. It seems to be like a boiler room, some sort. Um, yeah, this is really, really hot. There's a ton of coal burning and uh, <laughs> producing the smoke. How big around? Is the, the, this this, this smokestack on the top of the tower? You need the diameter of the smokestack. Yeah, like oh oh oh. <laughs> like, Can you drive a truck in there? Is what he's asking. <laughs> Could would it make a perfect barrel? <laughs> I, I'm asking what size projectile I could yeah, launch through uh, the smokestack. Uh, let's say pretty pretty damn large. Yeah yeah yeah. It's really big. Uh, the room and the space itself is kind of tight to get into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, so <laughs> we're gonna drive a truck <laughs> into the smokestack <laughs> and then pull a string and release the drugs into it upon which it will explode, but be in a smokestack and fire up like a bullet. See, I think the best plan is if we somehow suspended the truck and set the drugs underneath of it and then drop the truck and then it like shot up like one of those well, water cannons. What I'm thinking is there's, there's got to be like a, a, a depression in this space that the coal goes into. Because if it was on the same level when you were shoveling coal in, it could like slide back out. So if we, we fill that depression with Coca-Cola and put this projectile theoretically on top of it oh we seem to be having some technical we've difficulties we lost D. which means we also lost proper cameras <laughs> which means oh, no. it's time for a break <laughs> <laughs> all right we can take a five minute break yeah we gotta fix that while we figure out this yeah routine. everyone use your imagination <laughs> it's gonna be great <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous. What a fun and silly Christmas adventure. Alright guys, what's your plan gonna be? <sighs> oh I like what you're talking about. No, it's like No, I see what you're saying. So we make the divot with the Coca-Cola to be like the black powder, and then we put something on like we fashion a cannonball of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, now I'm on board. <laughs> now I'm on board. It, okay. it could be a truck. Just, uh, yeah, right, right. Just to further, <laughs> not, to further complicate the plan, we should uh, put a, we should wrap some, uh, some of the peppermint powder in wrapping paper and then drop it in to the, uh, the canister of the truck. That can be the bullet. And then by the time it seeps through the wrapping paper and gets to the top, it'll explode like a huge cannonball in the ceiling. But if it okay. explodes before it gets up there, then we'll have lost our projectile. How do we All get right, so the just, truck just... into the shaft? <laughs> What's the bullet? Is it the, the truck? What about the little metal Christmas guys? Yeah. Wrap a bunch of them up together. So Christmas present and Christmas pastors looking at you like you're assholes, uh, but standing next to them is a uh, nine foot tall metal polar bear. That's a very good point. Yeah, no, I, I thought about the polar bear, but I didn't think present would be super happy about it. But you know what? I'm starting to get a shoot headache. The polar bear into the sky, <sighs> not shoot them, not old yeller style. Hey, Christmas present, would you take two thousand dollars for your polar bear? Hell yeah! I'll be <laughs> okay. I would have given it, given them to you for free, but I'll take the two thousand. Yeah, at this point, I don't care. I just take the two grand. Um, Sweet. Damn. <laughs> all right. What Christmas is all about, baby. So I'm gonna go hook up a hose to one of the vats. <laughs> run it into this room to fill the basin of this furnace. <laughs> With Coca-Cola. <laughs> but wait, but wait, no, wait, before we before we proceed, now I've got another concern. Oh if my god, D, D game science doesn't what, matter. What, what if we do break a hole in the ceiling? How do we get up there to get out? Unless we're, you guys got what, we power. just break the glass, the glass breaking will break the spell. That's what Luke, we're banking on. That's what we're brain. banking on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm just small in a bit in a big world, I'll be very pissed. I just want you to know. I don't think the GM's going to do that to us. 
You don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I am about to hear about how stupid this is. All right, pump the Coca Cola. I'll help. I'll help lead it into the chamber. Yeah, get get the bear in the in the barrel first. All right, the bear's in the barrel. <laughs> in you go, furry. I'll see you later, furry. Um. Best two thousand dollars I've ever seen spent. Are we gonna go with just one bear, or do we want to like try to put like a bunch of stuff in there and like one bear? Let's go. <laughs> We're putting all our bears in one basket. <laughs> I will um, work on this creased. Um... <laughs> ribbon release system <laughs> yeah for, like, okay, i will definitely try to save at least like half of it if possible in case this doesn't work so i think we'll just put it all up on the up. we'll put it on a ledge and then we'll tie ribbon to it and lead out and then when you pull the ribbon it just plunks it down into the giant so I'm going to need coat. your lace ribbon that, you know, air can get through. And then I'll just wrap, my, I'll just wrap, you know, a half of this kilo in lace ribbon. And then I will, you know, tie that and I'll, I'll, uh, it'll be on a pulley. Like, so it's suspended in the air and I will run that bitch all the way out to the outside of the factory. Clemente, before we go any further, I've always wanted to do this. And I, I take uh, uh, one of my tubes of gift wrap and I wrap a quick little straw. I go, Clemente, may I? I will, I will line something out about. Um, sorry, I will uh, snow shovel out something. No, Clemente, uh, you don't understand. What, what I just want to stick the straw in the kilo, Clemente. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I just lean it over to him. And then we continue. <laughs> no, 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 just like, takes the, the whole thing. <laughs> and I, uh, I fill the basin of the furnace with Coca Cola. <laughs> All right, the basin is very full to the brim. I think it's all ready. And the bear's just standing in the middle. Or should we make some kind of like? <laughs> I, I I went and found like a couple of stools and like rigged up a little platform. Yeah, with yeah, one of the absolutely. pallets from the from the truck. So it's like a couple stools sitting in the the Coca Cola, and then a pallet on top, and the bears on the pallet. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, I think we're ready, but we're gonna need as uh, much distance as possible. <laughs> It's, uh, it's going to get Good loud. I think I have a lot of ribbon. It's going to get really loud, guys. <laughs> so you guys all exit all right. the, the room then? The room? I'm out the fucking building. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're all standing outside the building. We're like a half mile away with the ribbon. We're using all the <laughs> ribbon and scotch tape we have. <laughs> I have a lot of ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's the trigger, guys? Clavante, this wouldn't work without you. You do the honors. <laughs> I'm like crying. It. I'm like crying, <laughs> and I just and I just <laughs> let go. <laughs> I let go of the rope and the weight of the and the weight of the the powder just pulls that chunk down. All right. Well, it's like a goddamn NASA space launch. The ground starts trembling. Smoke comes out from all the windows and the doors and everything in, in this building. Um, as as finally, uh, you hear, and you see at the top, uh, uh, the top smokestack, this projectile just <laughs> like, <laughs> and it, it, you hear this, and you're like not really sure if it, uh, if uh, if it worked exactly until you hear like these cracks 
And then finally, like, the cracks just continue, continue making a huge spider web. And then the shattering of glass rains down all over. But at the same time, this this crazy sensation occurs where you are once again uh, are, uh, transformed back to your original sizes. And once more, you stand beside the conveyor belt in your warehouse, fully in your own world once more. Within this place, you guys see there's broken glass, water, plastic shit on the floor from the snow globe. Um, you look over, and there's a little black and white figure. It appears to be a penguin wearing balaclava with some other penguins, and they got a U-Haul truck at the at the at the shipping door, and it's halfway filled with all your presents ma- intended for the VIP customers. Absolutely fucking not! I go running after them with my stiletto. <laughs> All right, roll for initiative, guys. Oh god! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! Oh, oh no! Uh, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> god damn! Penguin. So these penguins are stealing the presents? Is that what I'm hearing? Bastards. They are. It's 1d20. Nice. All right, are you guys, uh, are they all? Oh, we got duplicate stuff in the turn order now. All right, let me just uh, clear all your guys' stuff again. I'll try that again. All right. Uh, with the ones that are left in the turn order, do they look correct? Yep. Looks like yep. we need a Ribbon Master. Oh no, we have Ribbon Master. Who are we missing in there? Uh, the Creaser. Missing me. Yeah. All right, got you in there now. Perfect. All right, not sure where my... I swear, Roll20 can be either amazing or a pain to work with. Uh Uh-oh, 19. All right. So the penguins, uh, they look really startled. They look at you guys like, oh, shit, the gig is up. Uh, These penguins, um, they're going to target pretty much uh, each of you, I guess. Um, This one up top here, uh, he reaches into his pouch and grabs a snowball, tosses it at you, Buck Hornsby. Nine to hit. AC 13. Perfect. The other snowball, or the other penguin, they're all going to launch snowballs, so let's see here. Uh, Only two of those are going to hit, I'm sure, the 16 and the 18. So that would be for, um, we got exec officer and name tagger. Um, Both of you guys are going to take... So that's three bludgeoning damage from a snowball, and that's five bludgeoning damage from a snowball. The three is for you, Crunchy, and the five is for you, Clavante. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so they launch a a hail of snowballs at you. Did we lose Luke? I think he is gone. It appears that Clavante, yes. All right, well, Captain Hershey Barr, you are up. Arr, you penguins. What <laughs> do I know what kind of penguins they are? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you've seen them. They're pretty much like run in the mill North Pole penguins. All right. They're known to be the, the scoundrels of Christmas society. 
you bastard penguins. <laughs> and I get out my uh, <laughs> get out my ribbon with with the scissors attached to the end, and start whipping it around, and then woof, <laughs> send it at the nearest penguin. All right, yeah, roll to hit. Sorry, fifteen. Full um, how Wait, tall? Are can you? I add my dex? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, can you guys hear me? Eighteen. Eighteen hits, by the way. Um, and then I, uh, I can be, hear you, Luke. Yes, I'll be one d six plus three damage on that weapon of yours. Natural one for a four. <laughs> cool. Yeah, uh, you stab him like right in the stomach with your scissors, and he like looks down. He's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> he's like bleeding out of his belly. Uh, looks down, <laughs> pretty concerned about that. Um, but he's not dead. Is that gonna be your turn? All right. I'm gonna jump up on this table here and say, "Come at me!" And I'm done. Okay, Luke, you took five uh, points of bludgeoning damage too, by the way, with the snowball that hit you last round. Oh, uh, on the penguin turn. Next up is the wrap and tape manager. All right, I would like to. Uh, given my adept uh, skill with tape. Uh, would I be able to tape scissors to one of my rolls of wrapping paper as a bonus action? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Then I would like to do that, uh, taping the scissors at the front uh, to create a small javel. <laughs> nice. Uh, and uh, I will take some movement. I cannot move my token, but I will move to right here. Uh, and then I will throw a javelin at, at uh, this penguin right here. You can't move him? Oh, no, I'm in the wrong mode. I'm in ruler mode. Gotcha. There we go. All right, which one are you trying to hit? This one here. Perfect. Yeah, roll the hit, dude. Okay. I, uh, decks, if you I, I don't have any decks. I have no, no stats. Nice. Can I add a proficiency bonus? Sure. Add two. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> you, uh, the, the balance just isn't quite right on your gift wrapping tube. Uh, and you throw it and it kind of just like uh, doesn't fly very true, lands at the feet of this penguin. Anything else? Uh, I will take my final 10 feet of movement and uh, draw two more of my tubes of gift wrap, wielding them like clubs. Perfect. <laughs> cool. Crunchy Snowdrift, you're up. Okay, Crunchy said she was going to do his stiletto and she's going to do his stiletto. So she is going to take some movement and jump up onto this table. And I would like to throw my stiletto at this guy right here. Perfect. Yeah, roll the hit. Uh, do I add anything to it? Uh, dexterity. Uh, okay. With dexterity. Oh, it's plus zero. Improvised weapons. Tan. Ten is not going to hit, unfortunately. Your Can I throw my other shoe? <laughs> yeah, as a bonus attack, sure. I mean, yes. you're the executive after all. Yes, and I'm pissed. Uh, Fourteen hey. does hit. Yeah, one uh, d four plus two, please. Go ahead. All D4. right. Five damage to that mother. Cool, yeah, you smash him right in the face, like the heel just pounds him right in between the eyes. Uh, he reels back a little bit and, like, crouches over, holding his face in pain. Um, but he looks at you and he just quack. Sounds like that. I would like to growl at him. Ah! <laughs> I'm supposed to be on vacation! <laughs> Alright, Hornsby, you're up. Uh, could you ping which penguin was uh, injured, the first one? All right. Uh, 
Oh, not close enough. Uh, all right, I'll move. Uh, yeah, I'll just move right up to him and get okay. ready to attack on my next turn. Sure. All right. Sounds good. <clears throat> I'm wielding my yardstick. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. You can, um, you can attack with that from approximately three feet away. Okay. Yeah, that was a that was a yard joke. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> yeah. Measurement. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We're still funny at nine twenty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so about this time, you guys hear like the a toilet flush. And then um, you see uh, from the corner of the room, from out this way, walking out, uh, uh, zipping up his pants, <laughs> a pretty large gentleman with a beard. And he's got like some crazy eyes. When he sees you, he's like, oh. And uh, it kind of sounds like Captain Hershey Bar. <laughs> but uh, he looks at you guys. He's like, Oh no, my plan, my plan, this can't be. Uh, he walks up and actually tries to engage uh, in a brief conversation. He's like, who are you and why are you foiling my plans? Wait, you're talking to us or the penguins? I'm assuming us. I'm talking to you. Uh, do I'm confused. That's all I gotta say. We're the heads of the packaging department. Yeah, we're the elite packaging division. And we're foiling your plans because we put a lot of work into those presents you're trying to take. Oh yes, that's all why right. we had a trap after all. We had to trap you. We had to. Well, that worked out real well for you, didn't it? Not particularly <laughs> he's going to uh he's gonna roll initiative oh he rolls a 20 all right so i guess it's uh monologue time so uh <clears throat> he's like he's got the craziest eyes by the way <clears throat> he's like my name is Christmas Future and I've seen everything man I've seen it it can't go on this way we can't do this. Nothing but sadness and despair awaits us unless we turn back now. Can't have this. Uh, he, uh, in that moment, you guys get a glimpse of these dystopian visions he's talking about, like uh, children working in sweatshops, working their fingers to the bone. Uh, incredible uh, poverty everywhere and um, gifts just being thrown in the mud and cast aside as if Christmas wasn't even a holiday anymore. I need you guys to make a wisdom saving throw, all of you. What? Oh no. <laughs> ah, this is like when everyone turned to stone and died. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, so uh you guys shudder at this dystopian vision that you see. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh d taking 18 points of psychic damage. <laughs> this is exactly like when that happened. Unconscious. Unconscious. I'm unconscious. <laughs> Total party kill! Sorry, but I'm totally fine, guys. Paul, are you oh, down I'm here? I already had half HP. I'm totally fine. Five. I'm totally <laughs> fine. Who's not I, unconscious? I'm pretty I sure that's I had everyone. exactly. I had exactly 18 hit points. I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm almost full dead. Oh, we're all down. You were like oh, four no. points away from just fully just murdering me. That is hilarious so you guys are all incapacitated on the ground and he continues his monologue he's like <laughs> can't believe this is how it's gonna end amazing <clears throat> he's like 
Finally, we can return our ways. We'll, we'll correct the course. We will take these gifts that were intended for these elite individuals around the world, and we will deliver them to the orphanage where they belong. Come on, penguins. Let's get the rest of it. The penguins okay. get all the rest of the gifts. They load it into the U-Haul, slam the door, and uh, Christmas future gets in the, in the driver's seat, fires up the U-Haul. <laughs> drives away from the elite packaging facility where uh you guys all bleed out and die and nobody even realizes that you're there until a few days later because they're all out partying at the moment and will be for the next couple days (laughs) christmas night is now santa's a little perturbed when he gets to those houses and his gifts aren't in the sleigh as he expects them to be makes a note to follow up on that later on and correct for next Christmas but my friends maybe it's a happy ending after all that's where we're gonna end our very special Christmas one shot adventure here at the Emerald Dragon where it just turns out whenever I DM I kill everybody are you telling me that my parents are gonna find me a few days after Christmas with a half a kilo taped to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> good night, everybody. Stay safe out there. Have a great week ahead. Merry Christmas. We will catch up with you next week. Peace. Merry Christmas, y'all.